All right. Good evening, everyone. Sorry, we're a little late. I thought I was going to be late because I was lagging behind setting things up and then I got set up on time and then like we just got to chatting because we haven't <laughs> we haven't had much of a chance to catch up and to, since I got back, really. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We had a lot of like a lot of uh, Final Fantasy seven rebirth. Right. I mean, we literally I mean, not that I, I feel like it's like too soon to be talking about it here. Yeah. Uh, in, in any depth. I mean, we, we touched on it slightly last week, but it was more like it's it's just really, really good. Yeah, it is. like is, And I think that it's made even better by the fact that I had not paid attention to like anything that has right. come out before. I, I'd paid very, that very makes little it, attention. Like, I, right. I mean, the one thing I will say is that it sh- it sure is is a towers and checklists game. <laughs> but it, but not in but a way in a that way. bothers me. Like, it, it, it everything feels fun to do. Right. Right. It, I mean, something that surprises me is like like you compare the side quests in this compared to the side quests in sixteen. Yeah, and like. So something I keep thinking about, like as much like content, like voice cutscene content there is, like there's almost not like a B tier cutscene type, like there is, but it's right, like the, like even just the generic like side quests, like have like good animation, right? Yeah, like you know, like like there, you know the much more elaborate, like, you know, camera framing and stuff like mm-hmm. you know, they do, the, they, you know, they do the more elaborate stuff for the big cutscenes, but it's, yeah, it, I think it's, it, it's, it's impressive, uh, uh, how consistent, uh, they, they are with that kind of stuff. But, uh, Dingus, Dingus Claire is saying, you know, except for the tower defense part, right, Corey. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Those last two, <laughs> Uh, uh, Fort Condor things. I was just like, I, I came really, really close. And you know what? Th- those things would be fine if they didn't have a three minute limit because the last two like required Intel fights or like, you know, like the, to get the proto relic, uh, they're, they're really difficult. And the, like the main enemy of them has this attack that will just like wipe out everybody and if it's not timed out perfectly, then you'll get sent. All your uh, units will get sent all the way back to you know like the halfway point at least. And uh, there's just not enough time to get them there yeah. to keep on uh, keep on attacking. So I just I, I reached a point of frustration where I was like, I'm going to set the game to easy and just do these two and then set it back. And I did that. Yeah, I I I did finish the um the Fort Condor Proto Relic stuff, but. Uh, the last one was really hard. I really enjoyed Fort Condor a lot in Intermission, though. That was because I, mm. I, I, I never liked Fort Condor in the original game, so I was kind of surprised. Well, I, I was I was yeah. telling Corey earlier, like I I kind of want I kind of want a whole game in the Fort Condor graphics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, but- I've. You know, I, I've I've kind of had to make up for uh for lost time, so I've I've been kind of binging it pretty hard. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Ever since Wednesday, so I'm on I'm mm-hmm. on chapter seven. So oh, uh, wow. yeah, I've 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 been enjoying it. Uh, it's 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 more of like you know, it, it definitely has the open world tropes, but not in a way that really annoys me. You know, and right. probably because I mean I don't play so much games like that these days. So one, you know, one towers and checklists game every now and then is is fine. Plus, you know, they do mix it up with kind of the more like tighter focus chapters in between. Right. So, I've uh, have you been playing it on uh, the projector or your OLED? I've been playing it on the OLED pretty much um, only because so I I started it on. Uh, the projector at my parents' house because I I just stayed there for several days while I kind of got readjusted to the time zone, uh, mm-hmm. you know, coming back from from Europe, and uh, mm-hmm. and man, I I was like for several days I was just like so unbearably sleepy at like nine to ten p.m. I was yeah. just, I just had to give up and go to bed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I I think I'm I'm pretty adjusted now though. But anyway. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I still, I started off playing on the projector and like my first impression when I came home and put it on the OLED was like, what a difference. Um, because I wasn't, I wasn't using HDR on the projector because like, I, I don't, I, I don't even know if it's really real HDR on the projector. It definitely seems to do something, but I, I didn't want to fool with it because I, I, you know, I just, I just, I just, you know, I just set it to 1080p since the projector is technically 1080p and you know, the performance mode is a bit on the blurry side anyway. So I was like, whatever, I'm just going anyway. Uh, but the thing that I noticed was uh, <laughs> there's so many, like you just got this weird thing going on where it like changes the camera exposure like really quickly. You 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 ever notice? Yeah, that? like if you're going like into a cave or yeah, something from like that, dark to light. Anything. But it's it's much uh, it, it's not as noticeable or jarring when using HDR. I found. Um, hmm. Because it just seems like the game just has this like very narrow exposure range, and sometimes it's a little weird the timing how it triggers. Um, yeah, but it, it, I think it looks a lot nicer in HDR. I was I was really mm. surprised. Are you playing on graphics or performance? Performance. Uh, interesting. So I I decided to start out and play on graphics. On graphics, I've just like kept it there because, you know, it doesn't it doesn't bother me that much. And not only that, but I played the last one. At 30, it never yeah, bothered yeah, me. Yeah. I mean, there's times where it looks like it has <laughs> when it things get really intense and it's obviously like chugging a bit. Uh, it has kind of an interesting look that makes it just like look like a low animation. It almost has like a like into the spider verse animation. <laughs> Wait, it gets that, it. it gets that low at th on 30. Well, no, I mean, it just like has that impression when people are like darting around. Oh and stuff it just huh. it, it feels like that interesting it has like yeah, I mean, a weird it, look to it i mean this but, is, but it's kind of cool i mean this is one of the first times i've really played a game where i feel like i'm taking advantage of vrr in any meaningful way because mm. like when i play the demo i i you know i mess around with it a bit and i could tell like okay it it's mostly pretty good I, i've not watched the df coverage by the way yeah um, me, me either um so like i don't know exactly all the details but um like from my observation, it's, it's like pretty pretty good at sixty, but it definitely has some drops, and VRR mostly solves it. So, um, so I've been playing on sixty. I mean, the main reason being like the blurriness doesn't bother me that bad. It is it is pretty blurry, but it doesn't bother me that bad. And as far as I could tell, like there's no major like graphical differences in terms of just like texture quality and stuff like that, which can be pretty blurry in, in places, but. Uh, yeah, like I, I, mean, I, I didn't notice the difference in like shadow or texture quality between performance and and graphics. So I, I I'm just doing performance mode. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just leaving it like because I was like I'm just gonna yeah. I mean you should. I mean just, once you get once you're used to that, then you're golden. Plus, uh, you know it doesn't happen often, but you know when they do have a uh, an actual like movie clip. Yeah, those, those are thirty. So it is a little distracting at first when they mm -hmm. switch between switch to um, the FMV. But yeah, and it, it just it does not feel like it is a game that you know requires to be like real quick with anything. Um, I mean, I, mean, it's I said I, pretty I don't fast know if I said pace, it before. But... What's that? I mean, it's definitely pretty fast paced, but obviously the the game was you know the core combat was originally designed around. 30 fps anyway so right well i found it for i don't know what it was but i had a, like a real hard time like kind of staying on top of things and parsing things when i had it in like the active battle so i switched over to cl uh classic oh, really? and i just feel like it's a lot more manageable like i can i can get into the menus and and choose different abilities more often well before i was just really just using my shortcuts all the time Oh, see, I I don't I never use the shortcuts. So so. What, oh, I constantly. So use you're the you're shortcuts. you're not actually like. So I I've not tried the classic. I mean, I remember in the original. Oh, well, I think I don't think there's much difference to it. I think what happens is that your character will do their basic attacks, like automatically okay. if you want to. Like it will just do it automatically. But, although you can also hit the button and have it do it. Oh. I don't know. It was just like it's something about it is switching over to it just made it a lot easier for me to interesting yeah i mean i um, 
I mean, I, I kind of avoid it because in the original game, I don't, I don't know if they ever, they probably changed this at some point, but originally you like classic mode was only was easy mode. Like you couldn't, mm. you couldn't play with like normal difficulty. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't, but, um, I don't know. I just, it's because there's so much more to the battles. I think this time around, we're just more characters to think about and, you know, right. Keep, well, uh, I mean, yeah, it does like it, it's it is like kind of overwhelming going from i mean even just from you know the original four characters you know even yeah. just adding you know red 13 to that is like you know another whole other character to learn and then you know yeah but they they made that feet. easier by uh by having like the integrate the uh by like you could like learn yuffie you can learn and and she like i just got yuffie and she's like she, yeah I, I was reminded, like, just how fun she is to play as. Yeah. Like, she's definitely the most fun ranged character, I think. Right. Um. But yeah, we uh, should probably stop. I, 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 we should probably stop talking so much about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there was a couple of things. Um, there was a thing for a while ago that Josh, Joshua Eichert has been a member for twelve months. Well, Say nothing like playing Sonic on a Mario Day. Hope everyone has an off, awesome evening. That's right. Well, thank you. You know, it's funny because I you di you didn't know that you didn't realize. I didn't even, with you I didn't even know it was March tenth. All all I knew was I wanted to wake up and play some Final Fantasy seven, <laughs> <laughs> and I and that's what I did. And I was like, mm -hmm. you know, I should I should play one of the games that uh, that I got on my trip, which this which was leads one us to of this one. other the other comment from uh, Dad one one five three. With five dollars, uh, asking what portable game system slash systems did did you bring back from from John's uh, busy busybody inquiring minds? Oh, uh, President uh, from being excluded, want to know? So, uh, I mean, like I don't know if he was asking, like you know, like what was I tempted to buy after trying things at John's house? Like, uh, oh yeah, Steam Deck yeah. OLED is definitely cool. Nothing I need to run out and get right now, but it's definitely cool. Um, mm -hmm. I, in terms of other things that I tried out and like, in terms of like where, where my thinking is at, like, uh, I, I definitely don't think I need a PSVR two unless they like <laughs> something really turns around. Yeah. Um, I mean, is it cool? It's just, it's, it's not cool, it's but nothing there. you know, it, like, it's almost hard for me to even tell how much of a jump it is over PSVR one because I got so used to the lens inserts that I bought for PSVR one mm -hmm. and like having to have your glasses in it again with, it's like almost like creating this like double chromatic aberration. And mm -hmm. there's like such a narrow part portion of the image that actually feels clear. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it, 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 like there's just nothing about this really selling me on it. But then let me tell you what I, I like super, super, super hate to say this, but, but the quest three is incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. Like I, 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 I told John, like next time you need to like sell someone on it. Uh, I said, okay, you can tell them that your friend who, you know, you know, hates PC gaming, hates digital games, hates Facebook, uh, is skeptical of video streaming, uh, thought it was an incredible experience. So are, are you aware of this thing that, that you can do on the Quest 3 that's like streaming video like you can play any like right so it's not it's it can be completely wireless right, right? You, but but well i mean you can play your self-contained games on it right the games that natively yeah. run on just on the headset right mm -hmm. um but you can also like play any game that like runs in like steam vr like half-life alex right and you you're you're sending it over your network to the headset. And I kid you not, it looks it looks like a direct connection. Like it does not look like it is streamed in any way. It, it like I can I just I just want to say really quick as a, as an aside. Yeah. Like the rolling demo in this game is like the worst rolling demo I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you know, I should probably start playing cuz these are things <laughs> and I, I I I cannot believe 
that that is the the demo. I should probably the, the, start playing. Showing. These these are conversations we can have while like... I'm actually playing Sonic. Um. But but yeah, so so I I mean, because John John had been like talking about about this for a while. Like he got the Quest Three, and like I, I believe this is something you could do on the Quest Two as well, although the quality is higher on on Quest Three. And like you know, John is gonna be ultra picky about this, right? Mm -hmm. Like he is not going to be okay with, you know, he's he's not gonna be okay with like, you know, input lag caused by, uh, uh, you know, streaming the video to the headset or 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 or, 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 or anything like that, right? Okay. You know, uh, he's not gonna like he's not gonna like it if it like has obvious like frame pacing issues or uh video compression artifacts and you know I mean, even he'll still, like, like it he's, he's gonna know that it's there huh i guess more i mean i think that he would still like it probably <laughs> well you can you literally can't tell like it yeah it, it's it's like it, it may as well be flawless uh it's 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 crazy it's crazy good um, mm -hmm. it, it feel like, you know, he was, you know, playing Half-Life Alex, you know, max settings off, off his computer. And so I was like getting the advantage of that, like, you know, in a completely different room. I was, you know, in the living room, um, playing the game. It's, 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 it's a flawless ex experience as far as that, uh, as far as that goes. Um, and Half-Life Alex itself is like, I mean, it's incredible. Mm hmm well, I think that there's. Uh, I, I played like an hour or so of it. Like a, like a I pro really, version. I really there there will be a, available like a, eventually like a like a like a Meta Quest Pro. I think it will be more expensive, but it will have more storage on it and just. Well, the the thing is, you don't you don't you don't really have to be worried about the native games though, because like it's 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 that good. Like like the 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 streaming. Right. Like if you want to play it on your computer, like there's like John actually said. <laughs> the the um the video quality on the streaming is better than the quality on like because you can do a direct connection but like b because of like usb transfer limitations the quality is actually better with the streaming than a direct connection it's it's like so it just uses your home network it uses your home network and it's unbelievably good and he said like his his network is nothing special he's just got like the you know the router that his ISP provided. Hmm. Like it's it is not is 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 router is nothing special at all. It's and also the the lenses in the Quest Three are. Uh. He calls them they're called pancake lenses, and like everything is sharp. Like everything is sharp. Like there's no chromatic hmm. aberration. Like when you move your head around, like the movement is extremely clear like it's it's it, it's it's a significantly better experience than psvr 2 it's it's really shocking how much better it is and also half-life alex is like really really good and i want to mm. play more of it really badly uh so yeah well, is, is there a meta quest 3 pro already i feel like there's only a 2 pro or Wait, just like a general a pro, pro? But... I, I didn't I didn't know about a pro, a pro thing at all. Because I mean, I'd certainly be curious about. So, so what's the two yeah, and pro versus if, the regular two? Like, I wonder if, if any of the uh, um, Sony games, because they're talking about bringing Sony, like, or Sony's talking about bringing. Uh, PC compatibility to the PSVR 2. Right, like, would you be so able I to... I wonder if... if those games will run in, in the Meta Quest then. Right, you're saying if, like, Sony releases, like, some of the games the, the that are games exclusive that to PSVR 2? I mean, not that there's that much. <laughs> oh, come on! Yeah, well, the MetaQuest Pro is a thousand dollars. Yeah, yikes. Oh, oh, okay. Like, trust me. Like, Quest Three is very impressive. Uh, mm. I was extremely surprised. 
Uh, a lot of people are talking about different stuff. Everyone's like incredulous that you're playing this on on Mario Day, but <laughs> you know what? There, I feel like that is super appropriate because yeah, why I just not? think it's very funny that it's you specifically that's playing a Master System Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I. I mean, I wanted to play something that, uh, you know, I brought back with me from my trip. And, you know, mm -hmm. one of the main things I was looking for was Master System games because, uh, you know, Master System was just so much more popular in Europe, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and also, you you know, the, ga the game ROMs are, you know, not optimized for PAL at all. So, you know, they play flawlessly on NTSC systems. So Master System's a good thing to look for. I got like the deal of the the decade, I think, on Alex Kidd and Shinobi World. You're very Let's jealous. Not be crazy. That's not. I mean, it's a good. It's a. It was a great deal. I mean, the deal of. Okay, it was still within the past decade. The decade I, got, might be, uh, I got overselling it a little bit. Okay, but it's. I mean, maybe the deal of, of, of the decade that started in 2020, maybe, so far. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know, like, what it generally goes for. I mean... <sighs> like, 150, right? It's, like, pretty expensive. Yeah. But and you got it you got it for what like 45 45 euros which is you know i guess like 50 bucks yeah roughly yeah i i mean well I and actually it was it was in a bundle and the guy the guy like I gave still, me a i deal. still think my game fan issue one for less than okay okay a dollar was probably sure the, the deal of the decade so far. <laughs> Still, it was it was a, it was a good deal. You cannot deny this. <laughs> yeah, it was among true. the better deals I've had. I would I have to say. Yeah. Uh, and, and but yeah, it was even less than forty five because the guy the guy gave me a the guy gave me a, a discount. Like he was he was a, he was like a very like gruff German guy. And I, mm -hmm. you know, I know a little German, but it was really hard to understand him because the, so the way that you say, um, numbers over 20 in German is like, if it's 75, you would say five and 70. Fünf und siebzehn. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like, it, you know, like this was the first, like this was just a couple of days into the trip. And, you know, I, I, I'm like still like trying to, trying to shake off a little of the, the old German rust from high school. And so I'm like really trying to think about like, okay, what's, what's he telling me to pay him? And I'm also like still getting used to the, the money. Like, you know, like, okay, like what, you know, what, what are, what are my coins? What are my, uh, you know, what, what are the bills? Uh, mm. So I, I was still getting used to this. I got a little confused, but yeah, he he, get, he gave me like at least five or ten euros off of the bundle I made. It was like it was like Alex Kidd Shinobi World, uh, uh, the first Asterix, uh, Batman Forever, which was John's recommendation. Uh, that, that's another like Sega developed game. Do you know what this down arrow thing is? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know because I keep running across that. Does anyone in the chat know what the down arrow power up thing is? Maybe it's a checkpoint. Oh, maybe. Um, oh, oh, what what else was it? There, there was one more in that in that. Grimy dragon, grimy dragon says checkpoint. It's a checkpoint. It's Everyone says checkpoint. Down arrow check, checkpoint. Down down arrow safe spot. <laughs> there you go. The equivalent to the checkpoint. Uh, really quick, there. I mean, there was uh, ten dollars from uh, Siswiv. Thank you. Thank you. Saying happy Sunday, everybody. I was lucky enough to get a uh, Retro Tank 4K yesterday. Ooh. Is there a must-have feature that's been implemented since your initial video that you could poss that you could possibly pass on? Um, what was the one that 
I mean, there, there's just been a lot of improvements in general, like little improvements. I think, uh, I think well, one there of the, was... the biggest things, I, I saw you were maybe having trouble with. It, well, it, a new firmware like fixed it. Okay. So, the so there, there's a feature it was like where do the gen lock. It like uh, blacks out anywhere that like a, um, that like a, uh, glitched frame would occur like during like a, uh, switching a resolution, a resolution switch. And yes. so like now, like the, like it's pretty much a seamless experience, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was having problems during like one of the, the Twitch streams that I was doing. It was, but they had to do with another feature that was causing it to like lose uh, a lock on it every once in a while. And, and during that stream, I actually installed like a new firmware that came out that said, you know, like you know, uh, expanded the range of like the gen lock or something like that, and nice. that fixed it. Um, so that's 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 a pretty big one. Um, apparently, the uh, there's a new like apparently a 3D comb filter has been implemented that makes it so that it won't you won't see that slight uh, shifting with composite input anymore. Oh, okay. like and I think you I think it was able to roll that into the uh, the five X also. Oh, um, it's also worth mentioning that um, he significantly increased the input pixels for uh, decimation. So, um, uh, so you, there, there's a lot more games that can be fixed uh, if you want. If you, oops, uh, there's a lot more games that can be f uh, like HDMI, like pixel pixel art games that can be fixed the uneven scaling can be fixed uh, a lot more easily I, I've not uh, plus a ton but whoa that's okay that's a yeah a slightly tricky trajectory um and we uh we have uh OSSC Pro is coming yeah. as well and um we're gonna be getting getting morphs as well like we're gonna go and buy buy some morphs uh just because you know it's always good to just be able to have everything to we, to we show be able you know? to tell people to be, what to be the objectionable. differences are and stuff of all Objection these different things objectable objectable completely ob objectable not objectionable objectable is it is is it objectable i don't know but it's just good to have everything. You know, with the uh, the OSSC Pro, I didn't even really know that like it was kind of this downscaling powerhouse. Um, is and that what you need a the, separate? Uh, is, you need yeah. Well, so that's the thing for? is it will have uh, that expansion board, that expansion, or the extra AV board. Uh, These that is gonna is in gonna be coming soon i guess you know it's like the parts are on the way i guess and you can uh so you would be able to output the downscaled like analog signal as well like directly within the from the unit so you don't have to run it through like an external uh transcoder which like is i is the thing that like that's really exciting for me like i just think that that'd be, that'd be cool to mess around with and it, it streamlines the entire process to a level that is uh Oh, okay. It makes it usable. You know, you just like can turn it on and have it do it. Uh, there's also uh, Nana Cheesecake has been a member for 15 months in a row. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And it says, uh, I just had a birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, can I ask something as a gift from you? What's, what's with all the dragon wing on the videos? <laughs> uh, is it a joke? Oh, and happy Sunday. Uh, it is totally a joke. I mean, how can you not laugh at the the name dragon wang that's i mean that's that all that's all it comes down to Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> yeah it's just it's just a very funny name <laughs> and every time uh, you bring it up you show b-roll if you die <laughs> exactly that's what it's got to be every time <laughs> um but yeah there, there there's nothing more to it it's just just a funny name uh, have, have you ever actually like figured out how to play Dragon Wang? Or... Oh yeah, yeah. I actually I've made it like several levels into it because some of the 
levels further into it have multiple tiers to it, and you have to kill bosses, and then, you know, uh, to finish the level. Like, several bosses. Oh, crap. I got a little overzealous with my jump in there. Uh, there's also uh, 10 pounds from InGen UK. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Saying I made the jump to uh, to PC. Any tips on where to buy game boxes to keep my USB sticks in for for uh, for download preservation? Seems like a great gap in the market for someone. Uh, I was also thinking of a Blu-ray burner. Um, so what I did is I just bought games that already like exist as as boxed versions. Uh, in my case, it was just Falcom games. Um, here, I'll, I can show you. I just need to be patient and wait for it to go down, and it looks like there will be some visible platforms. Okay. Um. Is this is this one of those? Uh, man, look at that background. I really like that with like the, the purple lighting on the underside. Like it, it's almost got like a Yoshi's Island kind of vibe to that. Look at that. Very good looking for Master System. Um, does anyone know if this is one of those uh, those Master System games that has like weird continue rules? Or it's like, do, do, do you know what? Uh, or, or can you look up like if this if this game has uh, any, anything Continuous. weird? weird about the continue system or if it has continue system at all sure just a second um for instance you know like the falcom like here's the uh, trails in the cut in the sky uh, second chapter you know this was digital only on the psp in the u.s and uh only and also on uh on steam and and gog uh so it's uh Oh, Backflash say no continues. No continues. And it no, has like doesn't even have the uh, like, like a hard the, case. The player two trick. And uh, in here, do I got this? Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it has like a big like a big clamshell oh, in it. Check this out. And uh, like I always put. Oh, oh no! Like, oh. Hang on. What a way to go came out so what's kind of cool about these right we have to earn continues from special stuff. <laughs> so i download those files and i have them on this flash drive but i just like stick it in here there's only there's only one disc and it's like in a two disc case but it's like i just bought these like little eight gig flash drives that is just like a little thing so i just put the game files and the update files on there from gog I store it in the, in the case. And it has like a manual. This is all like officially released and everything. So I just. Like another one. It's like I have like here's like an, like an E6. Stuff. So I have, I have a number of these. For games that I just. Wanted to uh, have physically on the PC. And they're all only Falcom games. So, I mean, that's you know, that's what you care about. Yeah. You know, when I was, uh, uh, we 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 were we were visiting this guy. Uh, one of the last days I was there, he he's like been the <laughs> in the German game scene forever, like. Uh, like he advertised like modding services like way back in the 90s and like he, he did like like 60 hertz mods for like the factor five guys back in the day and stuff like that mm -hmm. um but uh you know he, he sells stuff at conventions and we got to kind of go through some of his, some of his for sale stuff and um 
I, I finally got a version of of E's uh, of E's three that isn't the uh, the Oath and Felgana. Right. Uh, oh, oh, you didn't have any any other version of no, it. No, I didn't have any of the original side-scrolling versions. It's it's an interesting version. I mean, we played a bit of it. Um, the scrolling is really weird in it. Oh, it's yeah, super choppy. But I mean, the, like, the Genesis the frame version rate is actually is like the best one that this, like the one that is considered, I think, the best. Wait, which one? The Genesis one. Yeah. The uh, the U.S. Turbo version, Turbo Graphics version, uh, is an enormous step down in translation quality from book one and two. Well, also, uh, I mean, the, the Genesis version, though, has uh, buy some harm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd completely forgotten about that. Buy some harm. Um, some people are saying they got their uh, their t-shirts. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, That's you know nice. we we yeah. need to we need to uh, talk to Ariel about um, getting getting our hands on some to sell it. Uh, some of our oh, Midwest conventions. Gaming Classic, yeah. Um, and I talked to uh, Brady last week a little bit after the uh, after the stream, and. Uh, He's the one that has he has like a pretty cool like uh, memory card idea, and uh, oh, yeah. he's what like, oh, I want to like oh 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 right 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 the shirt the shirt memory yeah card. and he's like he's like a like is a great designer has worked on like a ton of stuff, um, and uh, you know it's like we should come up with some ideas and stuff. Um. There was a, a number of different uh, things here. Uh, you, um, in Gen UK, really quick, I mean, you, you can get a Blu-ray burner, but I don't think it's, like, really necessary, especially if you're just getting stuff from GOG and putting oh, it on. That's how you get a continue. Because they're just installers. You know, there's no real reason to put it on a disc, I don't think. Like, a flash drive is totally fine. So what, what triggers the bonus game anyway? I don't know. Uh, there was a uh, uh, Joshua Helmicky has been a member for 52 months in a row, wow. saying, uh, saying, chanting a game room tour, and that that is my that's that's my next video. Uh, I th I said last week that you know I was uh, I spent a lot of time these last several weeks working on some stuff for uh, the the nonprofit that my my wife works for. Um, is all like pro bono work so like free <laughs> lots of free work uh for an event that was held last night and uh it was cool you know it's cool like get to see these things that we worked on you know we, we interviewed a lot of people and like i put together these promo videos um for it like somebody who'd been like uh with this company for a long time uh was retiring after 27 years and uh so I put like a video together for them as well, like a retirement video. And uh, it was just cool, like a room full of people, like like in this getting the show in front of them. And then it's gonna go on their website as like a promo thing. Uh, so it should be cool. Um, I'm not sure if I can share it or not uh, right now, cause it's not, it's not available until tomorrow, like publicly. Man, uh, uh, I, I gotta tell you, that totally, totally random aside that just popped in my head. Uh, okay. But John's uh, uh, B and O TV, mm -hmm. dude, that those look so good. Like you don't even know how good it looks. The, that's the one that has like the built-in stand, right? Correct. But like you know, they're very common in Europe. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I mean, they were they were like very expensive back in the day so yeah you know they were mostly only sold you know to people who had a lot of money but uh you know people have been getting them for for pretty good deals i think uh in retro gaming lately but uh you know 
how are you going to get one into the U.S., right? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, they got I they mean, got SCART inputs and, uh, you know, can run at 60 hertz and just look awesome. Uh, just like the 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 blackness of the screen. Oh, crap. The blackness of the screen is just, like, so deep and just the colors really pop. And, you know, it's 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 lower fidelity than a PVM, but, you know, it's kind of got that nice shadow mask look that I've kind of been into lately. Mm hmm So it's... That sounds uh, cool. Like, it's, I, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. I kind of really want one, but it's like... Like, there just doesn't seem to be a path forward. Oh, crap. A path right. forward to get actually getting one. Oh, yeah, Frank Bohr says, for B&O, you need the original remote. So, yeah, uh, um, uh, John's friend Thomas, who I met, uh, we, we hung out with him a bunch of times when I was in the, in the country. He, he got B&O himself. <laughs> he, Audie actually found a remote for him, but, uh, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't uh, visited Germany recently. So, uh, he's, uh, he's still waiting on the on the remote but uh yeah it's it's kind of funny like you you have to have the remote like they said they even tried like you know those like training remotes where you can yeah like, yeah so those yeah, I, was like, I was like oh okay, couldn't you do that and it's like, apparently that doesn't work for some reason the remotes are crazy though they're like they're like this really like nice metal and like really heavy <laughs> it's like like everything about about the B and O stuff is just like very lavish. Uh, yeah, and impressive. I get, yeah, I, I get it. It's like it's, but it's. I feel like completely content with what I got. Like I'm not even like for as often as I use my CRTs. Sure, sure. Like, I, mean, I, yeah, I just I just feel like I I, mean, I, don't need I, I, I mean I I want to have a have a good just I mean do I have a good justification for it really no but I want to <laughs> yeah it's just that, like you just I mean how could you import it like it would just yeah it, it I mean... would be I, it would be cheap to get cheap enough to get one like if you lived in Europe but like actually getting one to the US is just almost out of the question yeah, I mean, that's the cool, like, you know, I see, like, Kaylee Gamer saying, saying the B&O styling is a selling point. And, yeah, I mean, they feel like... Uh, very... But it's who's, not like, just the, the that, designer like, guy for, like, Blade Runner? Like, in Blade Runner. The, I forgot what his name is. The quality um, of the screen, though, is really, really good, though. Like, it, it really is. Um, It's, you know, it's... You know, it's, it's like, if you, if you don't actually want... Like some people like think like PVMs are like too, mean, yes, too that's, fine that's... pitch, right? Like if if that if the PVM look is not for you, then like I think the B and O look is kinda like I mean, there there might be other like pro CRTs, like I, I don't really know that much about like how like JVCs and Ikigamis mm -hmm. and stuff like that look, they might be very similar to what the BNO looks like. But I don't I don't have a lot of experience with those. Um But really quick, I just wanted to mention uh that the stuff that I uh showed last night, like that's all done. And that's like that's been a big big time sink, along with like another other couple of other things that I can't like really talk about uh, uh i can when, when those things release but uh which is good it's kind of uh it's it's been a productive like several weeks which is good um where i've just gotten myself into like a pretty good groove of getting getting stuff done and uh i'm going to be the uh the next video that will just be me will be the the tour video right, but we're also we're well, going to be working on another um, a, another yes. video. It's um, like it's like a game focus, but like a game release focus uh, video. It just just something that I thought would be kind of a fun thing to do. 
Right. Well, I mean, the fact yeah. of the matter is we, you know, we, we secured a, a number of sponsorship spots for the year. And mm -hmm. that, you know, so you benefit because it makes us have to come up with extra video concepts that, uh, that we can, we can put those onto. Cause we, we don't like, um, we don't like putting sponsorships on, or we, we don't do it. We won't do it. We won't put sponsorships on videos for something that like we received a review sample for it. Right. So, um, so, you know, you know, we kind of come up with some, some fun, you know, actually not, not really even one-off videos. Like we've, we've been talking about like coming up with some concepts that could be you know, re like recurring, like well, there's so many things to talk about right. that it, it couldn't just fit in the one video. Right. And it's, it's just kind of a general overarching idea that I think will be, I think it'll be fun. Kind of goes think... back to like, like a hidden gems type video, but more of like, Hey, let's look at a bunch of things that fall into this category. Think like the I... games within games. video. Yeah. It's like, it's like that, but also it's, yeah, just, 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 just it's a, a very a general, concept. it's just fun, very fluid concept, fun, general interest concept. Yes. Yeah. Um, anyways, there was, uh, there's $5 from mega X six. Thank you. Saying good evening. Uh, won't be able to stay, but want to say hello. Hopefully you're still here. I think this was 13 minutes ago. Uh, I completed uh, Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 3, and Tomb Raider Remastered this week. Uh, replaying Final Fantasy 16 and Tomb Raider. Oh. That's, that's... You have them all, like, ongoing, I wonder, at one time. I, and they I... just happen to all wrap up at the same time. I, I, I find it very hard to jump from game to game like that. Yeah, well, especially RPGs. Like, I can do it with other stuff, but um, I don't know if I, like, I don't, I probably didn't tell you because it was, like, before, it was, it was while you were gone, you know, there's that, that week lead up to uh, Final Fantasy, and I didn't want to, like, really get into anything. Right. And, like, I was just working on a number of things, and by the end of the night, I was like, I just want to, like, zone out with something, but I don't want to start a game that's going to, that I'll be in the middle of when Final Fantasy comes out. Right. So I played played uh, a couple of different like walking simulators, I guess. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess they're not really like they're more story focused. Like one of them is a walking simulator, I mean, but walking simulators are story focused generally. Well, well, yes, yes. The other one is more like pixel art story focused. Um, but I play. Whoa, I replayed Gone Home for the Moonfall. first time and since it came out, and. Uh, just, it's just a, just a great story, a great game. What was it? Uh, Gone Home. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I I, had, I played that when it came out, but I hadn't played it since. And uh, I don't know. Like, it, it hits differently now that I have, like, a, a daughter who's about to, uh, about to be a teenager in a year and a half. I guess it just kind of hits a little differently now. Uh, and, and I played uh, To the Moon. Are, are, uh, aren't aren't those connected? No, no. Oh, okay. Or are they from the same developer? No, no. Uh, Gun Home is like, like Fulbright I Company, about and To the Moon is. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know who made uh, To the Moon. Um, it is. It's just really good. Uh, we we talked about it last week because it feels very. Uh, like Black Mirror ish, in a good way though. Uh, but they're good. I mean, Gone Home can be finished in a couple hours. Uh, to the Moon took me two nights. And, um, kind of uh, my, and, my my main game of the of the trip was, uh, which I I didn't you know I didn't play a lot while I was actually there, but. You know, I, I did some, um, mm -hmm. uh, but mostly on the flights was uh, right. Uh, Great Ace Attorney Two, which you know I, I I wish it hadn't been so long since the first one. You know, because a lot of people say like they kind of consider them basically one game uh, because the story is like very very intertwined. Uh, 
And so there was like some things like, oh man, I kind of forgot about that, and like I kind of had to refresh my memory on a few things. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's, it's very good. Uh, I, I wish I could have finished it before uh, starting Final Fantasy VII, but yeah. I, I got to a good stopping point at least. Mm -hmm. so. But the first one's included in there, right? Right, right, right. It's, you, it's you a just, package because they had never been released outside Japan. Right. Um. Until um. Until uh, the you know the the HD version came out. So. Right. You know, I was playing that on my my Switch, and uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. But you know, I, I reached the end of Case Three, so uh, you know, I'll I'll that'll probably be the main thing I return to after I finish uh, Final Fantasy Seven. But, the the Mr. Dot saying that Gone Home is three dollars and seventy four cents on 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 GOG right now. Um, I just think it's a good story. Like it's totally worth worth that. I think. Uh, the To the Moon uh, was was a limited run release, but uh, Gone Home was uh, I am eight bit. Wow. That's, and someone was saying so like what what uh, what remains of Edith Edith. What remains of Edith Finch is very similar as well. Oh, I yeah, wonder that, if that, that is that's on that Annapurna collection, right? Right, right. Which that was really the reason I had gotten it because I'd heard a lot of good things about that, but you couldn't get the physical release anymore. Mm. Um, but yeah, Gone Home is just it's good, you know. It's a good good story, you know. It's it's very interesting because leading up to it, I remember when it came out, like or even if you don't even know anything about it, the way it presents itself is it feels very very dark and and sinister. Just like the setting feels dark and like th there's something off. But uh, everything turns out all right. It's it's a nice it's a nice little story. Um there was well, I, there was uh, Bubba D. Matt uh, had a, had a donation for five dollars, saying, "Gamer nightmare, getting hit by those sketch tacos from the bar, right when you pull up to Galloping Ghost." <laughs> is live action Montezuma revenge truly? Yeah, don't just don't eat, don't eat sketch tacos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only time you eat sketch tacos is like when you are going home. <laughs> and that's the next place they're going is home. That's, that sounds like uh, that sounds like good general advice. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen this. Uh, I don't know. I saw this one like Instagram reel where uh, it's this guy. He's like outside of a bar, <laughs> and it, you you think it's gonna be this like transformation. He's like, here's me five years ago. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm eating. <laughs> and he's just like leaning up against the outside of the bar, just like like eating a taco. Like he's like so drunk and just eating it. And uh and it's like, and here's me two days ago. And it's like him doing the, the same thing. <laughs> it's he's just doing the same thing. And you think it's you know, he's gonna have been like, you know, I I saw that there was a problem then. <laughs> And uh, and I got over it, but no, he's just just doing the same thing. And hopefully, he is about to go home in both of those times. <laughs> um, I'll I'll, have to, I'll think about the the next about my my gaming nightmare. Um, maybe like anything. My house flooding is probably my my main fear. You know, and just having it be a uh, waste deep water in this basement. Yeah, that would not. <laughs> that, that's, that's my number one fear, probably. That would not be great. No. no. Uh, also, uh, Doctor Doctor jo Doctor Johnny Bananas. Doctor Johnny Bananas. Okay. That's a good name, right? Uh, Doctor yeah, Johnny yeah. Bananas uh, with five dollars saying, "To the moon was amazing. I ball." And yeah, I mean, it's like I was I was very close many times uh, and that's it's, it's kind of nice to have that experience. And 
to the to the moon it does take a little while to get going but you know you you feel pretty invested by the end uh Dory Hanza the second I'm playing on power base mini FM hey did you were you able to order those analog adapters yes you 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 mentioned that like they were gone, order, like, when like, I went to order them. I, I might got, like, the last one. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. It's like, you may have gotten the last set. Because I went to order them, like, not even an hour after you, and they're gone. And this was, like, Friday. Or, no, it's, yeah, it was, like, Friday. It was, like, Friday, I think. Everything needs to be kept above knee height. Yeah, I mean, if I had the... The room to do that. I mean, even if it was like waist deep down here, though, it just that'd be a massive uh, you know, like insurance claim. And you know, like I've always like looked in. I mean, I haven't like looked in too much. I've I've thought about it a lot. Uh, just you know, getting the the game collection uh, insured. But I think that. A lot of people have said, you know, you have, you can claim them on the insurance. You have plenty of stuff out there, a video showing like all the stuff that you have down here, so you can prove that you this that you have it. I guess so, that, makes sense. that might help to an extent. I don't know. That's a whole thing, though. That's a whole thing that I should probably do that I have not. Oh, that, I, don't know. I, I track everything in like that CLZ. Just so I know, like, oh, no. what it is. But I see that you know everyone's talking about the uh, daylight savings bringing forward today. It's daylight savings. Is it? Is it begin when uh, you fall back? So daylight savings is only from like November to March, or is it the other way around? I, I think daylight savings. I think Daylight Savings is actually the one that we're on mo most of the year. Okay. Like, sta quote-unquote standard time is actually the minority of the year, if, I, if I'm if i thinking right. Okay, so Daylight Savings starts from spring forward. So we're on DST now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's funny because I, I, I wasn't seeing a thing coming up for the, uh, the stream, and I was like, does, does he know that the clock's changed? Well... Because I didn't see, like, the thumbnail until, like, five minutes, like, like really, like, five minutes before it was, uh, I, I mean, before it was scheduled to happen. It's, it's funny because, uh, uh, you know, I was, I was having such a hard time staying up. Oops. Uh oh, oh. I was having such a hard time staying up, like past like not nine or ten o'clock, um, and I was I was like thinking like, oh well, you know, I'll, I'll get more on you know, normal U.S. schedule, you know, with the daylight savings time, but I had to stay up to like one plain fall fancy last night, so. So you're like probably okay now. Yeah, or I mean, I, I actually wish I I hadn't gone quite that far. Uh, the day before. I think I'll. Be. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean that, just, that's my normal to, time. You anyway. just have the resolve to be like, all right, so I'm gonna. Yeah. Get it, get it worked out, get it under control. Um. Frank Boris, they have a bird story prequel to to the moon, to the moon, finding paradise, an imposter factory is a complete series. Interesting. So, are they all on PC only, or are there are there console releases of them? Um, 
Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, like I, so I, when I went to that event last night, I had to, I had to uh, wear a suit for the first time in like five years, and thankfully it still, still fit. <laughs> Was, it, was the I last was, time I mean, Drum and Lin's wedding? That was probably the last time, but it, that was not the suit that 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 suit would definitely not fit. Oh, <laughs> that would definitely not fit. Uh, and that was what 2019, right? 20, yeah, 2019. Um, but uh, I had this other one from a wedding that I was in in 2018, and uh, and that's that fit. But I, I, I wonder, because I've been doing this, like, intermittent fasting, and I wonder if, like, that's the only reason it fit. <laughs> it's because I had been doing that. Whoa, I'm not going that way. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but you know what? It, it feels good to... It felt good to, to like dress up like that. It's been been so long, and you know, it, thankfully it, it fit in a way that didn't make me feel uh, feel horrible. <laughs> feel horrible. Mr. Dew says yeah. there's sketchy tacos if you gotta put on a suit. <laughs> yeah, maybe a couple of days before you can <laughs> poop out a couple of pounds. <laughs> You know, believe it or believe it or not, I did eat uh, I did eat uh, a burrito in Germany. John, I mean, is it, is it just like a weird, like it just a weird combo, or are you just like not really like burritos? No, what? No, no, I didn't say it was bad. All right, it's, it's just the idea of eating a burrito well, no, there. It's, just, I mean, it's, it's funny, right? Like. Mexican food is like extremely uncommon outside North America, or maybe not. Well, I, I feel like it, like it's, probably it's really... to an extent, but it's probably like less so now. Well, yeah, but it's it's pretty uncommon. Um, we 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 actually uh, we actually met a Mexican guy. Uh, we were hanging out over there. And mm -hmm. he was like, he, he, he was like, oh yeah, I haven't found any good Mexican food here. <laughs> of course, his standards of Mexican food are probably very different from ours, as it is, right? Yeah. Uh, so. But no, I mean, um, you know, it was it was like a Chipotle type place. It it, it definitely tasted very different from, you know burritos i would get here but yeah they were it was good it was very good i liked it yeah i'm gonna grab something really quick oh does tokyo actually have some some decent mexican food i mean i always think that's a fun thing to try i mean you know i i definitely got my my share of of schnitzel in in germany which was very delicious but I, I also like trying things like, you know, like, okay, what's Mexican food like in Germany? What's, what's hamburgers like in Germany? You know, I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I tried, um, I tried, uh, uh, Burger King, McDonald's and KFC. John John wanted me to experience the German version of all of them. Um, yeah. I I will say, you know, despite what what people might tend to say, um, I I I I think uh, in some ways, like I I don't know, pe people tend to be down on American KFC, and I. Uh, 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 honestly, uh, you know, I, I kind of like KFC. I, I think a lot of people probably just had like one bad experience and, you know, make us make broad assumptions uh, 
from there. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I mean, uh, the the sandwich I had was definitely more elaborate than uh, than sandwiches the sandwiches they offer here. But the one thing I'll say is that the fries were very like you know kind of a McDonald's style cut, and I, I think uh, I think KFC's fries are honestly like really good. Uh, they've only had them for a few years. They're really good. So I actually like the American fries uh, better. Or, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, uh, McDonald's offers cur uh, curly fries and a curry dip for fries, which was awesome. Oh. Wait, is awful? No, it was awesome. Oh, the it's curry, awesome. The curry dip. You don't get that here. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I got, I got. <laughs> so, I, 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 I got to tell you about um, the German rest stops. They're kind of awesome. Um. <laughs> so, um. So like they're, they're pretty frequent, the, the the rest stops, and so most toilets in Germany, unless it's like you know, the toilet in a restaurant you're eating in, like if, like if you're in a mall or you go to a rest stop, uh, like using the bathroom is going to be like 50 or 70 cents. Hmm. But they, they actually like make really good use of it. Um, because like most of the time, like you see someone like actively cleaning the bathrooms and like yeah, yeah. Keeping them stock, stocked and stuff, so it's it's actually you know they they it, they, it, it goes it, it it's used well. The bathrooms are super nice. Um, but what's also interesting about the rest stops, so you can um, uh, you can to go into the bathroom, you have to pay one euro, and you can use you can use a a credit card to do it, and uh. So you pay one euro and then it prints out a one euro voucher that you spend at the rest stop. So, it, you know, it, it basically incentivizes you to be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just, oops, oh, this seems tricky. It, incent, it incentivizes you to, you know, actually spend money at the rest stop and like get like a nice treat for yourself right or you know something to drink or you know so i mm -hmm. I, I actually kind of liked that aspect um you know that, that it encouraged me to to spend which sounds funny but it's like i was like okay this is actually like kind of a brilliant idea to get people to spend money but the funny thing though so the first uh toilet i went to in a rest stop I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, like I think this has a bidet on it. Like it yeah, I, I could see there was some sort of mechanism. But you know, I mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't need to use it. So I um Oh man, this is tricky. This is tricky. So <laughs> I flushed the toilet. And by the way, the, the toilet flush mechanisms over there are all like these like giant buttons on the wall. Hmm. Like it's not like the handle that we usually have. Um, it's, it's a giant button on the wall. Anyway, so I flush, and I see this. Um, okay, so I'm, oh, oh, dang it! Okay, I'm not going to go for him ways there. That seems too risky. Um. Anyway, I flush the toilet, and I, I'm like standing up, right? Uh, you know, gay ready to gay ready to leave, and I see like the mechanism start to open up when after I flush the toilet, I'm like, oh no, oh no. Because if you never use the bidet, you know, you might not think about how, if you're not sitting on it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna. It's, it's gonna get you. <laughs> so I'm like, oh crap, oh crap. Well, uh, it, it turned out that the, the, it just, the, the seat started spinning around. <laughs> like, the, the actual seat, like, started rotating. And then the water squirted down on the seat. And it it did, it like, 
Like, it, it just did a full... The seat itself, like, did this full 360-degree turn. <laughs> so Weird. I thought that was, that was kind of funny. I'd never seen anything like that. But, it, like, yeah, it, it, like, actually, like, washed the seat. <laughs> Every huh. time you flush. I guess I just... I can't imagine what it's what it doing as much, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I'm not... I, I'm, I, I'm not describing it very well, I suppose, but it was it was fun. <laughs> um, I went over to grab some stuff because uh, I uh, I bought some some goodies off of uh, off of a uh, friend Paul Sutton who oh, was yeah, like yeah, usually yeah. in the in the chat. I mean he's not he's not usually in the chat. Sometimes he's in the chat. Um, and I I bought a couple of couple of games, couple of, well, three, like, real heavy hitters. Like, I decided to, like, really splurge because he had gotten some stuff in. And, uh, I ordered some stuff from him. Anyways, uh, I will say what I, what I got in a little bit. But in that box, he sent me a rather sizable stack of PlayStation 1 demo. Oh yeah. And I thought it would be like a really fun live stream. Yeah, it would be for sure. Yeah. Any uh Yeah, I was gonna show what I got here. Any any that you uh hadn't gotten to use play before? I mean I've never played most of these. Um I just think it'd be interesting to see like the games like the demo versions of these games. Uh this first one is the uh, the Pizza Hut uh Pizza Powered PlayStation giveaway. It's got Metal Gear Solid and Crash Bandicoot 3, Tomb Raider 3, Gran Turismo, and uh, Medieval on it. Oh. And, and you never know, a lot of times they have like different music and, and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. That, you know? uh, there is the Toys R Us Attack of the Killer Demos. <laughs> it's got a Ridge Racer Type 4, Contender, Legend of Lagaya, Xenia, Xena Warrior Princess. And then at the bottom it says also includes Cool Borders 3, Ur Guys, and Elmo's Elmo's Letter Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of these are not like the other? Wow, that's that's quite funny. Um, this one is just the uh, the PS1. This is like PS O N E demo disc. I wonder if this came with like the systems. Because it's like from 2002. It's got it's got NFL Game Day 2002 on it. And, a, and Barbie Explorer, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, the interactive sampler CD8 has Metal Gear Solid, Spyro 1, uh, NFL Extreme, Medieval again. Uh, he sent me this sealed Felix the Cat for the CDI. The, the giant electronic comic book. Wait, wait, did you say Felix the Cat for CDI? Yeah, it's a giant electronic comic book. Wow. I mean, you don't, you don't have a way to play that for better or worse. No. Uh, there's this Final Fantasy VII demo, which everyone's played, but it's always cool. Like, I hey, think I, I have it in another PlayStation Underground. I, I actually don't know much about that demo. It's just the, the bomb blowing up run. the first reactor. Really? So you, you never you never played the? Uh, I don't think so. The Final Fantasy VII demo that came out. How how, it was how like did you get it? One and then it was on PlayStation Underground and stuff. No, it does. It, does it, I I know the Final Fantasy VIII demo has different different music during the. Uh, right, right, because it sounds like The Rock. Oh, <laughs> sounds like it's from the movie from the rock from the movie the rock. Yeah, if you if you listen to it and then you watch the uh, the portion of the rock that it supposedly stole from, it's pretty close. Yeah. What? Uh, but what about Final Fantasy VII? Is it like identical to the released game, or is it different? I think it's identical because it was already out in Japan at that time. I don't know if there's much to it. I guess. Um, no, I mean, there's there's no reason I would have played that demo because, like, by the time I was aware of the game, like, it was almost already out. Hmm. 
and you know, I, I really had no no way to play it at the time anyway, and I, I didn't have a ton of interest quite yet anyway. It, yeah. it wouldn't be it wouldn't be another you know year or two before I finally like really got into RPGs other than just like Mario RPG and Pokemon. Hmm. Well, this also has uh, Bushido Blade, Final Fantasy Tactics, and Stagger Frontier. Some of them are video clips, though. Uh, this one's just a... Uh, this one is just a demo CD that has um, Clock Tower. Oh, that's nice. And, uh, and, and Felony. Felony, what is it? Uh, 1179. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. The, uh, the box art looks, looks familiar, though. He sent me this, and it's like the PlayStation Underground, but he says, I don't often get these in, but when I do, it's always 2.4. Or 2.4 is always among them. 2.4. This is the PlayStation Underground CD mag, number 2.4. Wow. And it's like in a little wrapper here. Let's open it up, see what, what we got here. Uh, this has Twisted Mouth 3... Siphon Filter, Tomb Raider 3, NFL, NHL Face Off 99, Bugs Life, Apocalypse, NFL Blitz. It's like, it's two discs though. So I feel like there's more than. <laughs> Fell on these nuts. That's right. How? It's got Tom B. Raider 3 in it. Um, there's that, and this last one is. Uh, this is 3.1. This has Contender on it, also. This feels very here. similar to the other one. Can I do this? Oh, wow. That was weird. Uh... 2.1? Is that... What's the one I have? Hang on. Dangerous. What do I have? Dangerous. The file can't be seven What the heck? What is this? How do I do this? Uh, I think this is just version 2. I don't know if this is 2.1. I think this is just 2 right here. Uh, Henry Clark, is this the one you, you're talking about or the one after this? Go back where? This has Blasto on it. MLB 98. Final Fantasy 7. Um... Oh, so this Final Fantasy VII disc is the same thing as in the PlayStation Underground. Yeah, so this is just version 2. This is one... I've had this one since I got it. Since I got my system. I think that when I bought my system, this didn't... It didn't come in the in the box, uh, but I think that they gave it to me at Electronics Boutique. So I felt like that would be like a fun stream to do. At some point, I agree. just play these demos. Explore those demos. Specifically, this Pizza Hut one. <laughs> oh man, I got Chaos Emerald. Uh oh. How disappointing. Makes me feel like some sort of Sonic completionist. Oops. All right, so everybody, you want to see the heavy hitters now? That I spent a lot of a lot of money from them. On? I have two of them. <laughs> yes. They, I, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Hold on to your butts. So I got both of these. Uh, it's just like Pocky and Rocky, the Japanese Pocky and Rocky one and two. Kiki Kai Kai. Yeah. The second one is more expensive than the than the first one. Uh, and this last one is uh, something I never thought I'd have, and that's a uh, Saturn version of of Batsu Gun. Oh wait, 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 wait. So these are this little. It was, it was pricey. <laughs> yeah. 
I saw them, you know, because he, he owns the, uh, a game store. Uh, like, like, by Syracuse or whatever. I think it's, like, in between Syracuse and Buffalo. Um, and, uh, I saw him on his Facebook page, and he's like, oh. I'm like, I, I, I'm very interested. How much, how much are they? <laughs> I forget. I forget which one is Batsugan. Uh, it's just like a vertical shooter. Okay. It's like it's like one of a handful of games that I feel are like very high on my list. I mean, not higher than than Hyper Duel. Yeah. Uh, Hyper Duel, like the, the the two games that I can think of off the top of my head that I'm that are high on my list that I want, uh, that I'm that are more more pricey, I guess at this point, is uh. Hyper Duel is the top of my list right now on, on the uh, for the Saturn, um, and the other one is I really want that Adventures of Batman and Robin on the uh, for the Super NES. Oh yeah, yeah. The Konami developed one. Mm -hmm. So you know at, at Midwest Gaming Classic, if I uh, if I'm just like looking for one thing, like that's the one thing I'm gonna probably look yeah. for. Yeah. Uh, Hyper Duel is, yes, it is like, you know, five, six hundred dollars. Near unobtainium. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Adventure of Batman Robin has gotten pretty uh, expensive. You know, it's like a hundred and, getting close to 150 ish, I think. Jeez. Um, there was five dollars from, uh, from Joshua Helmicky. A little, about eight minutes ago. Sorry about that. Saying, tries to venture in Germany. The entire toilet seat spun around and a secret East German KGB <laughs> German KGB spy camp hidden beneath the wall. Isn't, uh, KGB is only Russian though, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. But there was... Well, the East German. Oh. I, you gotta take the I am rate. thinking Just I have left. no idea no. what I'm doing in this level. Unless I've like somehow activated this warp up top. Oh, well, I, I gotta find a... Okay, I probably have to find the warp to there from some other... From that other area, <laughs> I guess. I tried. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. You want to say hello? I can't pause the game, but say oh, hello. Right. Are you what? Are you, what are you playing this on? Are you playing on your on a master on a real master system? I'm playing on Genesis Power Base Mini. Oh, I see. Okay. Whoa! There was a nine ninety nine from a Jersey. I'm I'm assuming it's Jersey. One one seven. Thank you. Thank you. Saying uh, that's an that's awesome. Congrats on the pickups. I uh, just got done negotiating to sell my whole collection, I'm going Mister Only for retro for the time being. I I can understand that. I can understand that. Uh, especially as someone who has been going through and has like a bin of stuff that is. Uh, you know, I was thinking about getting rid of. I think I see what I need to do. Um, okay, I gotta go. I can, I can understand that. Levels down, and I can jump over to that one. Probably. And the press is where they are. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I'm okay, there. Maybe here. Here. And you know, like it's, you start to think about. I was just talking to somebody who has a rather large collection of like classic GI Joe figures, and we talk about how like if something was to happen to us, like saddling our families with, like, having to get, like deal with this stuff and get rid of it, 
uh, does not sound like something that uh, we'd want to put them through. I if, it, if, it, if it was up to me, like what I would say is like, hey, I want you to have like, like everybody that we know just to come over here and just like take what they want. <laughs> and then find somebody to buy the rest. Like as one big thing. Just because I'd rather go to somebody who will uh, just, like, appreciate it more, I guess. But, I mean, it's, it's easy to say, oh, it'll go, all go on, on eBay, but, like, to do that for every single game, just, like, that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. A um, lot of work. Yeah, no, I mean that's that's true. Like, like even 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 the copy of Snatcher. Yeah, I mean I would ra rather just if I was like dead, I'd rather have it go to somebody who just like really really wanted it versus selling it for a bunch. I mean, unless your family really needed the money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's one thing if they want to put in the effort to do that. Sure, but I, I don't know. Like, I'd rather. I find it way more fulfilling to like, you know, it, like if I was, I, I would find it a lot more fulfilling to give it to just give it to somebody who was going, going to, who was you know a friend and would appreciate it, you know. Uh, is this good? Oh, weird. You know. If... <laughs> Oh, I just noticed that there's no clock in this level. That's interesting. Is this just a ring hunt for some reason? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, like, the, yeah, the the dream is to give it the collection to the next of kin and hope they enjoy it, playing with it as much as you did. And the, the, the truth is, is they're probably not. You know, as, as much as I think that people would like to think that they would, I don't think that they, like, a lot of people probably won't. Like, I just don't think that... It's going to be, it's going to be interesting, I think, in the next, like couple of decades because I wonder if once people our age I mean they're, and, they're... Like, are, are in these things and played the stuff like like heavily played it I think that the the market uh, for like in the interest for that stuff is just going to go away I mean you know the, the, the market for the actual old things will probably be low but I mean you know I think there will be people who you know, appreciate this era of um, right of gaming. You know, just as much as you know, people still like you know old movie. I mean, you know, there 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 there's young people who still get into like you know you know some of the the old movies that that I consider to be like kind of daunting to get into, but like they still love like you know those those early decades of cinema, right? Like there's some people yeah, oh yeah, really yeah. into that stuff. And I but think I that mean, will be yes. true for video games. It won't be a ton of people, of course, but Right. It, it probably won't command the price the thing sell for now. I I don't know. I think E V Chill uh, says uh with five dollars says my wife would put everything out in front of the house with a free sign. And... <laughs> you know what though? The the joy that it that would bring to you, the person that is is finding that would be more than than, than worth it, I think. It would be something that those people would probably remember for the rest of their lives. And then they'll sell it. <laughs> or, the, I mean, imagine it going to somebody who, like, really... Oh, wow. 
loved it, you know, how excited they would be about it. I mean, just... Did I, I really know. just miss one ring here? Okay, what is going on here? Oh, that was the end of the level. Yeah. <laughs> says uh, she would do it while it's raining. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> You know, there was there was a there was a comment uh, recently that uh, they, they called out the uh, they called out the uh, having the original clock capacitor in in some Xbox B roll, mm -hmm. and I'm like. And I'm like, uh, the, this is this is an old Xbox I found by the dumpster in the rain. <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah. that that it has an intact clock capacitor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's New News Pooey Channel says every time I buy a comic book and I collected edition, I bring a single issue I own into work and leave it on a take one leave one bookshelf. Mm. They're always gone within a day. Yeah, I, what I would do is like start putting them uh, in a little library out front. Like that would be kind of cool, right? Because we do like those little libraries and we put our books out there and, you know, like a lot of our neighbors put books in there. It's like all about, you know, putting one in and taking one. Oh, crap. I'm saying a lot of oh, crap. <laughs> it would be funny to put very ex expensive uh, video games in the li little library. And just to see what happens. Yeah, a little library is, is great, especially if you, you know, you have kids. So uh, just put those old books out there. Do, Very much do people work. deposit into it or? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all about like take one or and leave one. You don't, uh, you don't have to leave one to take one. It's just... Uh, People can, you know, are always going by, and if they need a place to uh, drop off some books they don't want anymore, they just put them in there. Or if they're walking by, they always look in there and stuff. It's cool. <sighs> Contributes to the community. <laughs> Neo Turf Masters in the AES free pile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, yeah, of all my, like, all the stuff was at the at Goodwill. No, that's, if it was going to Goodwill, like, the people that work there would have already grabbed it all. I, my, my Goodwill used to be pretty good, and it's, like, really gone down the, the crapper. I mean, uh, you know, what, what, what if you, what if you put, you know, a Batsagon in the little library, and then, you know, when you checked it, there was a Hyper Duel. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very funny. Like if you could do something like that, where people would put exchange like the high priced games that they that they have and don't really want, like trying to get the thing that they have been are seeking. You know, like I'm gonna find here's a couple of, like really expensive things. I'm gonna put this out there so that hopefully somebody will make a trade. I think that'd be funny. Yeah. I should put a Genesis cartridge. I mean, I could do it. Uh, I put when I, after I when I got the second edition of the uh, the book, the game console. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Evan Amos book, because like we had that first version, and then he did a second version. They had like newer stuff in it, and like fixed yeah. some errors and this and that in there. And uh, I took that first one and put it out there, and it was gone like within a day. Level is stressful. 
I don't know. It just, like, it just... Not like we can, we can take any of this stuff with us when we, when we die. So I'd just rather go. Like I don't know. If if my family wants to sell off certain things, they can. But I'm gonna like encourage them to be like you know, give it to people who um, they would appreciate. It. Uh, Henry Clark, I would send that to you. Like I would make sure that it's like listed as as you know to go to go to you. Henry Clark's gonna be in your will. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like CJQ Chris has has it still. I thought he was gonna do a read through of it, but. He's had it for over a year now. I'm not sure if he, if he will. I wonder if it's only going to, <laughs> to become more expensive after what has happened to uh, to Nick Rocks. talking about. Oh, I, mean, I don't know if we should get into it. He uh, recently was arrested and probably will not be uh, doing any anything. Uh, like he was, he was very active on Twitter for a while there. Crap! Ah! Uh, but he, he, you know, he was... hit by the exact same combo as last time, but at least. Yeah, we don't we don't really want to get into it. On the, on the stream. But you could probably easily do a, a Google search and find out what is what happened to him last week. It's been eBay for $850 for months now. Just that... That first issue? Yeah, well, I, that's exactly it. You know that. Oof. And that level was stressful. No one's, no one's biting. I mean, I don't like. Why not lower it then? If it's been on there for months. Um, I think we're going to record a podcast in the next couple of days, so, um, hopefully there will be a podcast at some point this week. I don't know if you can get the We Duel kit anymore. Well, are there, are there, there might be other, I feel like there might be other HDMI mods available now like i mean there's still all the like 480p thing but oh, dang. i feel like i've heard there there are more hdmi mod options yeah Uh, has anybody in the chat got their got their morph? Uh, what is what is your? Uh, if so, do you have any impressions? Um, I thought I was close at the end of Yakuza. Um, Last, this last but there's, world, I, I guess what I seems to be last left. world is very stressful. Was that it? No, I thought I picked up two continues. And I only remember using one. That's weird. Oh, wow. Are you going to play something else instead now? 
Uh, no, I'm going to go for it. You, you got time. Yeah. I'm going to go for it. Um, no, I haven't... I haven't seen any posts about it. Um, no, I, I, I'll check, check later. Um. I don't know, you know, I just... We were we were talking about it in the uh, in the Discord a little bit yesterday, about how like you know if everything is good like that's like good for the consumers, because um, you know like especially like being like that version being HDMI in only like there's there's certainly a subset of people that like that's all they want. You know? Yeah, makes sense. Um. I don't know. I just, I just wish it was it didn't come down to like, like public, uh, where it feels like console war. I know. We do not, stuff. we do not need that in retro gaming. Come on. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like already too late, and I, I can't help but feel that like all that stuff, like really, brought it to the forefront in a way that it wasn't before. Yes. Which I mean, I, I'm I'll just say that like I feel as though all that happening is really taking a lot of enjoyment out of the scene for me. Yeah, it's it's sad to see. So I think I think that that is probably like a big part why. You know, like, I'm not nearly as, as present, like, on social media in regards to that, or just even, I don't know, like, I, I pay attention to everything still, but I just don't have a lot to comment on uh, about it, I, mean, I guess. We haven't really had much social media presence in a long time. Yeah, but I've been, but I mean, I follow it. Right. I follow what is going on, but it's... It's definitely put like a big a damper on how excited I, I am about various aspects. Yes. Uh, we're not talking about any of that stuff. Not physical versus or, or emulation. I mean, I didn't really follow too closely what was happening with, like, the Yuzu stuff. But... Were they, were, they were, like... Charging for it? I think it was free, but they were... They had, know, like, they a Patreon or something Patreon. like that? Which, I mean... I feel like that's that's quite valid, but the I you know where where they ran their their big risk was you know was the fact that people whether whether it was you know publicly their intent or not for uh, uh, you know for people to you know play games they don't own on it uh you know they they definitely made it really easy to now i i certainly wish you know nothing nothing had happened in terms of you know nintendo going after it as they did but i think that's where they had their they had their opening i guess yeah i mean i mean based on like what little i know about the situation it just I that see, so you have like to finish the, the stage to earn the continue. 
Okay. It it just feels like it was like inviting that to happen eventually. I think I'm going reset because I've I've figured out a few things. Give me a better start. Yeah, I mean it's a shame because Switch emulation isn't perfect and still needs further work. Like they they I guarantee you that they or somebody they passed on their work that is still working on stuff behind yeah. like like behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm sure, I, I'm I, sure I I guarantee that. you that there's like no way that these people that this work has just been completely deleted and nobody oh, yeah. is like do like continuing to do some sort of work on it. But like if that's gonna happen, just change the name and just like put it out there. Don't have a Patreon for it. You know, like it's it's one thing if it's um, old systems, <laughs> right? But when it's something that's still actively being developed for and sold, right. like whether or not like it's well, I think I think that I mean the, the hardware is like underpowered and this and that and everything. Like it is what it is. Like it's still being yeah. developed but, for. But the, the like, thing, like, the fact of the matter is, though, I mean. You know, the actual emulation should not be considered illegal. Right. Um, but, but weren't they, like, they were, like, getting games, like, ahead of time and making sure that they were compatible, right? I, that, I, I don't, I don't, that I don't know. I don't know. I, I know, I honestly know very little about the situation. Um, but yeah, I mean, it... I mean, but think of it, think of it like Bleem, for for instance, you know, Bleem was basically what, what set the precedent of, uh, of emulation being legal. And, you know, the, the problem with that was, you know, PS1 was still an active platform when Bleem came out. So that's, that's what got Sony's feathers all ruffled. Mm -hmm. And... You know, so you know that that set the legal precedent that the emulation is fine because they they didn't do any, there was nothing stolen, no code, no, nothing copyrightable, stolen. So, you know, I, whether whether Yuzu cr crossed a line, I don't know. But the fact of the matter was, you know. They, they didn't have the money to, to wage a legal battle against Nintendo, sadly. Yeah. And it just doesn't feel like they would really have... That they would ever win anyways. I, I don't Even know. If they did. I, it, I, I mean, it would be... I have no yeah. idea. I, yeah, I, and, you I, know, it's no, like, no, oh, they've I already... It's, it's open source. People have continued it. Yeah, I mean, that stuff will get developed and worked on, but, I mean, just don't make like money like that off of that. Yeah. It's just that it's an it's an active but again like Bleem I you know Bleem had every right to make the money they were making, right? Because mm -hmm. they were not selling copyright software. And but the, yeah, I mean the, the the thing is like I I support the idea of switch emulation under the the grounds that uh, you know, it, it is for people who just can't handle the the Switch's lower specs, right? They want to play in 4K. They want to play right. with higher frame rates. Uh, I, I I support it in that regard, uh, but I you know I I think I think if people if people are going to do that, I think they should buy the games. You know, right. And like I mean, as people said, you know, it's it's already been continued under a devel different developer, and it would be completely different if I feel like it would be completely different if the Switch Two was out, existed, like, and people could buy it right. and did a lot of this stuff. Well, you know, but and, and, and also if if backwards compatibility on Switch Two you know, makes these games run better as well. Uh, you know, it would re yeah. remove a lot of the incentive to, to engage in the whole endeavor to begin with. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's, I think that's something that has, you know, 
<laughs> Microsoft hasn't had a lot of wins lately, but I think one one way they've benefited themselves is uh, by offering the developer mode on Xbox, right? It it reduces the incentive for people to hack the system, right? Yeah. Whereas, you know, on Nintendo and PlayStation, people have a uh, much higher incentive to hack it, I would say. Right. But, you know, I, 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 I think the idea of using, using that, uh, using Yuzu to, you know, like, for example, you know, Drum, you know, bought Tears of the Kingdom. But because he so much prefers playing games in, in the PC environment, you know, he, he's not a graphic snob or a frame rate snob at all. Um, you know, I, I, I looked at, I, lo I watched him play a little Tears of the Kingdom on his computer. You know, it's, it's got shader compilation stutter in it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you know, which is something you don't, you don't get playing it on, on a Switch. Uh, so I mean, there's there's pros and cons to playing it in that environment, but that is his preferred gaming environment over using the console. But he bought the game, you know. Right. That 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 is like the model use case for that kind of emulator. You know, for a, for an active platform with, um, you know, an active platform with with you know, games that are being sold. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's I think that 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 is that that's the you know front facing intent I would say of an emulator like Yuzu, but is 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 the reality that most people aren't actually doing that probably, sadly, but the emulator itself should still be legal. But again, I I don't know the extent of what they what they did or didn't do. Yeah. <laughs> If, if they, they cross some really obvious line there. I mean, I, I, I like the idea of, uh, of, you know, there's lots of, you know, Mr. Developers who, who, uh, whose work is supported by Patreon, uh, very successfully. And I, I think that has led to so much good development for, for Mr. And, and I, absolutely, I, I, but I support but it's that like, kind you know, of, that kind these of are not new games. For, for emulation, but, <laughs> say what i mean that's just like that's the thing like that like that kind of stuff nobody bats an eye at because this is stuff that you is not being actively sold anymore correct i don't know it's it's interesting because i feel like the fact that it is just like new stuff it, it feels very cut and dry to me, but it, it, it's not for a lot of people. Right. Um, so, oh, like, I'm probably off about it for various reasons, but that's just, you know, my point of view is that it just seems like, uh, you know, this stuff is still being sold. And, right. But, like, but you, you have that to, is why you, it is getting. Uh, you, you have know, to remember, though, it's. it's like, attention. Like right. That. It, you have to remember, though, it's 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 emulation versus distribution of software. You know, on the face of it, the emulation should be legal. But I don't. I again, I don't. I don't know their methods. You know, maybe they may have. They may have actually distributed something they shouldn't have. They may have, uh, you know, obtained games and and not entirely legal legal means to. Uh, to test them and improve emulation, um, you know. But I, the, there, there, there probably is a good argument to be made, though, uh, in regards to, well, you know, people were were playing Tears of the Kingdom before it was even out, right? Yeah, uh, and that that was, you know, because people leaked. Uh, you know, because the game game cartridges got out there before they should have, but right. Um, yeah, I you know I just I, I I don't know. It's a it's a multifaceted thing. I, I wish it was able to have stayed around. Um, and 
you know, I, I am sure. I mean, that it is. Though. It's like, not it's just... like we've seen the last of Switch emulation, you know? Yeah. And if they were not, like, making money on it, like, even whether it's just, like, going through, if it's just, like, through Patreon to be. Um, I do think Yuzu was free, though. I think. But someone's saying, like, oh, you need to have access. You have to have the Patreon to, ha to have uh, access to, like, the latest build or something like that. Oh, well, I mean, that's, that's whatever. Yeah, I, it, just, it just feels as though uh, if they didn't have a Patreon, like, people could donate privately if they wanted to. Maybe have something like that. Have, like, a, like a little, you know... Here's the, an, an email address, you know, send us, you know, a dollar uh, via PayPal if you want. Like, I, I, I feel as though that probably would not have uh, brought, uh, like, as much attention. Maybe, I mean, lots of devs operate in that way, and I think... That makes sense, but I think, yeah, they were making $30,000 a month. I mean, obviously, you know, they, had, they they made enough off of it to be able to sell it was like a 2.6 million or something like that. Obviously, they made enough to be able to settle. Yeah. I mean, that is, that is not uh, unsubstantial amounts of money. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I, and the majority of that, I mean, probably was lost sales. I mean, you know, it probably really was. Because like, you know, for example, what Drum was doing, that that is what Yuzu or any emulator wants to say their users are doing but. yeah and you know, the thing is you know the developers if they if they had enough to settle for that or 2.4 million i guess if they had enough to sell for that they probably had more money than that and i'm sure that they're, well, they're gonna I be mean, doing by doing i mean i it, don't know it's probably been like, i mean it, it's it's hard to imagine nintendo would have settled for them hanging on to that much of what they had earned. <laughs> yeah. But it probably benefits Nintendo as well for them to have settled out of court because, you know, again, there's the the Bleem press precedent. And, right. Um, I, I, I think I saw some people point out that they may have, you know, done some things less legit uh, that, that may have not necessarily overwritten Bleem precedent, but if, uh, you know, it, it, you know, it, it was certainly no guarantee Nintendo would, would win that. And, you know, from Nintendo's perspective, the fact that, uh, you know, they just see that, okay, they got what they wanted by just looking scary, right? Mm -hmm. So that's going to scare people off from doing stuff in the future. Whereas, you know, potentially, if, if things had... Uh, if, thing, if things had not go, gone their way, then, uh, then, ah, oh, oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, I really want that. Oh, well. If, if things had not gone their way, then, yeah. Then, then it could have opened up the floodgates for even more emulation. That right. They would not have wanted. I would really like to go back and get that one. Uh, e e. Rooney says, uh, 
So I tell to my my non-educated educated, uh, emulation friends, uh, do whatever for the most part, but never try to make money. <laughs> well, I mean that that's why it just blows my mind that you know I've seen in the past I've seen uh, I've seen ads on YouTube that just straight up. Well, it's like those those hard drives they have like a billion games I know, on it. It's they, like they, even got I've like it's got like YouTube new like like new this. games on it. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't understand how people like get away with like openly advertising stuff like that. Well, that's because I mean these companies are just like shipping them out of a warehouse in China where you know it's like this gray area, and it would be it'd be a lot more effort to try to. <laughs> Like actually like, track know, like, them down. Like, like 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 track that that stuff down. Yeah. You know, it's like those uh, like when PS One games were being pirated like crazy, and they would have those big busts and like have all these like counterfeit games. You know, I feel like those days are probably long past. Like they just can't can't do that anymore. There's just too much out there, and it's just too easy to distribute yeah, I just this love stuff. The Mm -hmm. It like really has almost being... like 16-bit vibes about it, doesn't it? Which is really Here? Yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, Amazon lets that happen. Yeah. Um, and it has new stuff on it. You know, I, I think know. that log that you roll there is like the only one in the entire game somehow. I don't think you even have to get on it. <laughs> They had an idea. They had an idea. Like, we're just gonna do this, and you know, I'm gonna see if it works here. And they're like, ah, oh, no, nah. let's be too much effort to take it out, though. We put so much <laughs> effort into it. Just have it right here. Yeah. I have 11 lives. You're doing good. I mean, if you were, you were basically at the end before we at the last boss before. I, I did not get to the boss, but I, I was on, I suspect, the last level before the boss. Oh. 17 minutes ago, there was a uh, oh, legendary K4 has been a member for 13 months. Thank you. And just stopping in to say hello. Have work in the morning and trying to rock a three-week old to sleep. Mm. <laughs> uh, have fun. Have a fun night of gaming. Hopefully they're asleep by now. I sometimes miss those days. But most of the time not. Analog is selling clone consoles and profiting off, off of it. Um, But I mean, it's like it's they're not for, selling like... software. I mean, that's the thing. They're not selling. They're not selling ROMs, except for, like, for example, the Turrican stuff, which was licensed through Factor Five. Yes. Yeah, and also, like, there's Nintendo is not. They're not going after emulation as it. a whole. Yeah. I mean, they'd probably like to, but. It, 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 it all comes down to they were they were enabling uh, you know, the, the the easy piracy of software. I mean, granted, you can also be piracy through the Switch itself pretty easy, but it's yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know enough about the situation to really say one way or the other, but clone clone consoles uh, for, for old stuff where no BIOS is needed or where the BIOS is re reproduced, you know, that's, yeah. that's not a problem. And I, I like, uh, and we don't want that to be a problem. Alexa is saying, but user didn't sell ROMs. But I mean, I think the difference is, is that they are currently developing new games for the system now right and but again, um, so so was ps1 in the days of bleem so it's 
Right. It's hard. It's hard to say whether. I think it comes down to like. I mean, I think that that's what it is. Is like, is if new games are currently being developed for it, then it just like puts a gigantic target on your back. Yeah. And I I don't think that that's a situation where anybody like any. But he would be able to win in that situation. Well, Bleem did, to an extent. I don't know. See right here, like this run that you're having is something that uh, you could only do after playing the game several times. Exactly. Now, now you get it, and you're you have a ton of lives, and uh, and like I just earned a third continue. Yeah. I I hope the. Uh... The final boss isn't too scary. Uh, uh, I don't. I feel like I'd be surprised I, I, if I picked up that game in Europe uh, just the other week. So I got both Master System Asterix games. my groove did you die no I, I i just lost my uh my barrier <laughs> i did die i pushed my just b now? button but wouldn't do <laughs> john, john and i had a good we, we we watched a bunch of old uh mleg videos and also old df and pre-df videos that he did yeah it was fun. Uh, definitely had some, some good laughs over push my B button, but it wouldn't do. Uh, we, we started watching because I, you know, you gotta, you got, you got another comment on the double dragon video of people just like, right, right. Telling you, you are so wrong about that game. Yeah. It's funny that it, and then, uh, and then, so John left. I was telling, to, I, I, I was just mentioning to John. He's like, oh, "Okay, I want to watch this video." And, and then he's like, "All of your points are really good." <laughs> like, he's like, "Yeah, this game is kind of bad. I don't like it either." <laughs> I see. I see really quick. I would say, like um, Eric says in the chat, says it's kind of amazing. He usually skated for as long as, as they did, and. It's probably true. I I'm, I mean, I don't know how much information is, like, known about what they had, but I feel like they probably went this long because they... Because that's the saying is, they, they probably... I feel like they had them in 4K. Like, they had them, like, filmed in 4K. Like, doing stuff that they weren't supposed to. Or something. And if they, like, fight it, isn't that, like, a whole thing, like, oh, it opens up to, like, discovery where, like, all this information can be, like, uh, like, easier to find out all this information that becomes, like, public or something like that? Caught, caught in 4K. I mean, I think that that's probably what happened. Like, I think that they probably had something that, like, may, probably has not been mentioned where like Nintendo had them in 4K, and that's why they got them. Why they why they waited? They waited until they had the um, 
Tom everything in 4K, they... is that like an actual phrase or did you just make that up? No, it's like an actual phrase. It's like I it's like something I saw where it's like this guy like robbed a house and he got caught. He got like caught on camera. It was a 4K camera? It was a 4K camera. He's like, they got you in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right like a, i mean that's the idea like, like where a, it's like, like you can't it's not you can't K? be like oh the video quality is so bad you can't even tell that's me it's like no they've been <laughs> <laughs> they caught him in 4k that's, like how, how do you like who even has a 4k security camera uh, that, but it was it was like a video it was like a it was on something like it's not it was like in a comedy video or something. <laughs> but just the idea behind it. It is funny. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they, that person can't be like, guess that's not me. You can't even tell because the video quality is so bad, you know? <laughs> this is you saying I did the crime right to the camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> oh. Um what were we had before? Yeah. Um We were, I was talking about something else and I got back to that really quick. Um, I don't know. Oh, the, the old videos. Watching the old videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun. I mean, that, that Chip and Dale was the first time we had B-roll in a, yeah. in a, in a video. I hate that like you get hit with the rings and you only drop one. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It makes it impossible to pick pick it up. Yeah, you, like, you can't pick it up. It makes it a lot harder. Yeah, I mean, even if it just gave you one, you know? It would be yeah. Nice. <laughs> In episode seven rebirth is what made re made me realize I need glasses. Uh, what about it? Just. Wait, going, doing what? Oh, someone says, you know, playing FF7 Rebirth is what made me realize I need glasses. I don't uh, know. Wh why? <laughs> I mean, especially the, uh, you know, the, uh, the performance mode is pretty blurry, so you don't really need glasses. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like I, I have progressed too far into the game. Oh, you yeah. To, you don't uh, want to go back now. Yeah, I'm not gonna switch over. No, um. No, so no. when you when you played it, did you replay the uh, the, the part Nibelheim from the, the demo? I did. I did too. I I assume you didn't play the Junon stuff when that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't play the demo. No. Did Did you play the Nibelheim demo or not? I did. Yeah, but but I replayed it. When yeah, I, I, I did too, but like like mostly just because I wanted to like go through the tutorial again because it'd been you know several weeks, right? Right. Yeah. Well, one thing that I I still don't have a super great handle on is the uh, the, uh, the 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 in, in, weapon enhancements. Well, weapon enhance. Weapon enhancements. Like, I don't even understand why they have a menu for that. Yeah, it says I, like it, it says like enhanced weapons, but you don't actually yeah. enhance them there. No, it is. It kind of happens automatically. It happens automatically, and then you I, have I to had like do, thing, actually I do it at the bookstore. But that's like your abilities, even. Right, like I, that. That's that's a bit confusing. <laughs> you know what I? You know I? I in, in my. In, in my uh, typical uh, just saying random things to my, my pets. Yeah. 
uh, there's a lot of times where you know it's just me and, and, the, and the and the animals in the house, and I, I will go be like, Nelly, this is where it all began. The first Magnata books. <laughs> Where I just like I just like, you know, just drop that out every once in a while, because I remember that this is where it all began. The first thing <laughs> It's very much like uh, that's right, Nelly. We're going to the dig. We're going to dig a boss system. Yeah. <laughs> but more uh, more recent, at least. The 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 other thing though that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me is yeah. Uh, is i mean I, I i think the menus are kind of they're they're over designed yeah like like the party menu it's like i i had a big big talk about it in the uh in like the spoiler free channel on our on our discord about how i feel like they're it took me forever to figure out how to switch like my party lineup because you go into these menus right, and then like, menus within menus and it's like oh then you got to hit like square to like edit your pet party it, I just feel like like I get that they want to show off these character models and stuff but I think that they could have just made it a lot easier and just get rid of that well, en enhanced weapon menu that does I like know, almost it's nothing. not actually enhanced weapons <laughs> and, and and these presets and you know what I went back into it like well after the uh the tutorial, and I'm like, am I missing something? Am I forgetting something? Like, and then I looked it up, like the in-game manual page for it, and I'm like, this doesn't even tell me anything. Like, why don't you let me redo the entire uh, tutorial or something like that? Because, like, why even have it? Yeah, it's it's strange. Uh... But I, I do feel like it's it's over designed. Right. And, uh, so, no, so like no, you go, so, you go the, the actual party section on the menu, if I'm not mistaken, is is your is what you would traditionally call your status menu, right? Where it's just like right. your stat breakdown. Whereas the um, to actually change the party lineups, you go to like battle settings or something. Yes, like I battle it... config. It's, or I, I forget exactly what it's called, but yeah. And I, I, it's it's so petulant of me, but it, it annoys me so much that the menu is called materia and equipment, and not equipment and materia. <laughs> right, because you do you do equipment first, and then I, yes. I actually thought that was kind of confusing in, in remake as well, where like they almost I, I kind of wish materia was just its own menu. Yeah. Because I don't <laughs> like I'm not I'm like. I'm either there to do equipment or materia, not equipment and materia. <laughs> you yes. Know? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know what? Replace enhanced equipment. Yeah, with, with materia. materia. Just have a materia section. Yeah, I, I just, I just feel like they could have. Yeah. It's just over designed, and there's like, you have to go inside menus, and you have to hit certain buttons to like do certain things, right. and I just feel like it could be. If it was, they weren't so intent on showing these, uh, I don't know, where are they even supposed to be? Uh, like, they're in this, I, like, I think it's the place. Temple, of, I think, I suspect it's the Temple of the Ancients, but I don't actually okay. know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. That's the only thing I can but Like, I don't, why, do, why does the time of day change in it? Have you I noticed that? Kind that of sometimes it's like, I do think that's what? kind of, I do think that's kind of but I don't. I don't understand what makes it. Well, if it's just like a dark area, like it just it matches oh. the matches the exterior lighting, which is almost always like. Oh, I didn't. I didn't make that Midday noon, but. Yeah. But it 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 just matches the exterior lighting. Yeah. But um. But yeah, it's just the fact that you like have to push a that like equipping materia at all is like hidden behind another button press just seems like. Like, like that, that feels like it's... And maybe just have that one screen where it's like, I like that you can hit, like, the touchpad to, like, you know, do every, all characters at the same time if you want to. Wait, which do is, what? Is, is, you can, like, uh, distribute every, like, all characters' materia at the same time. Oh, I, I didn't know that. By hitting, like, the touchpad on the, on the materia screen. Which is nice because then you can you can swap materia between characters. Right, right, right. 
because uh, you know, like you, there's like there's something below you. It looked like there was a uh, yeah. There's like an emerald, but like I don't even care. It's it's like on top of some spikes, and I don't feel like risking it. Yeah, it's like I'm not getting all the emeralds anyway, so I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I just like you know, you go back to the original, and I feel like if they had just yes, it's not glamorous. But just I, I love those classic FF menu systems. What's that? I love those classic FF menu systems. Yeah, I just I just think that it's it's over designed and I mean you know how like people you know a lot of people just like don't know how to um how to do junctioning in in, in FF eight right? That's because like they kind of bury it like several menus deep. Right. And so in a way, I guess. They so in a is, way, it's like, why, why make it an extra step to equip materia? Because it, it, it makes it feel like they're, they're burying, slightly burying equipping materia, which is like <laughs> very bad. Ah, uh, there's $5 from Edward. Thank you. Oh, and th th there was another rent optional 15 minutes ago, but I'll, I'll come back to it. Sorry. Uh, Sorry about that, I ran optional. Uh, saying, Edward had $5 saying, so y'all are coming to uh, Greenville for uh, S-E-G-E. -E. It's great here, lots of good food and things to do. Hope you all enjoy. And you, just you're going. Just you're That's going right. to that one. Just me. Because I have, it, it, I have a family vacation coming up like like right around that same time. Yeah, and it just it would be too much for you to do all at once. Yeah. Yeah, so just me. I mean, but, you know, it... Yeah, it's. I, I've wanted to go for years, and I just kept. I, I mean, just to go because it's you know only like two hours from me. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I've been mean to go and kept forgetting doing. And then they finally invite us. And I'm like, yeah, I'll go. So yeah, that's, and you uh, can just drive there, and yeah. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I mean, I, I, I was in Greenville, uh, just, uh, you know, this past week because even though I live near the Charlotte airport, I flew in and out of Greenville and caught a connecting flight here in Charlotte <laughs> because it was a whole lot cheaper uh, to fly to Germany that way than if I just got on the exact same plane in Charlotte to begin with. But it was worth saving the money. I mean, that money covered, you know, <laughs> that, that, that covered the game expenses, right? <laughs> yeah. That was worth it. Um, but still kind of stupid. Yeah, flight place. And then people, yeah, you can get in trouble for it. For, like, abandoning your flight or whatever. Yeah, they can, like, ban you from the airline. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Um, there were, Rent Optional had a, a, a $5 donation 17 minutes ago. Hopefully you're still here. Um... Saying, I draw the line of a uh, piracy of if the original game is being made slash sold and it's original at the original price, you shouldn't pirate. If not, pirate away. Right. But the, the, again, you know, the, the, the question isn't for, for, you know, the current situation isn't really so much like, like, like obviously Nintendo wasn't going to be okay with piracy. It's whether, it's whether Yuzu had a part in the piracy, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, I, I, I agree. That's, that's a, that's, that's a good rule of thumb. Uh, you know, I mean, we would, we would have nothing in terms of preservation without some manner of piracy. Right. Even though, you know, I, I like for my own enjoyment to, uh, to buy my games. You know, you know what was a, a, a really random game that John and I ended up playing all the way through? We found, uh, um, because he, he ended up having some, uh, uh, some business in Munich. And so we, we, uh, we spent two days in Munich. Uh, that's what, that's why I got to have the, the wonderful experience of the German rest stops and the rotating <laughs> toilet seats. Um, but, uh, uh, we, 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 there, there was like two 
game stores that we sought out in Munich, and one was like terrible. It was it was like it was like a smoke shop and a and a, and a game shop, <laughs> and it was terrible. It was like the selection was just really lousy. Um, the, the other was was really good. In fact, it was it was kind of funny because we we went in and all we saw was like uh, manga and card game stuff. And, right. And the clerk saw that we were leaving really quickly, and he's like, "Oh, by the way, like, like go 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 back outside, and then like around the corner, and the game the game store and board game store is back there." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, "Oh, okay." So, yeah, we went, it was really good. I I got a really good deal on uh, one of the um, the colorized Konami collections for for. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the stuff that, like, the Castlevania stuff that I did in, like, the second ROM hacks. Yes. Isn't that? Yeah, uh, yeah, like, the color Probotector and Castlevania and, uh, stuff like that. So, pretty neat. Um. Let's see, is this where, it, I don't really care about getting the Emerald, but I think it's just right here. Um. Uh, but yeah, like, I got a really good deal on... Uh, Konami Collection 1 there. Which, you know, I actually bought the wrong one at the little mini convention that we went to uh, because when I looked up on Wikipedia, I didn't read closely enough and the numbering on the Japanese and European um, the Japanese and European Konami Collection releases is different. But see, the Japanese ones don't have the colorization. Only the European versions have the colorization. So that's why oh. I want the European versions. Right. Um, uh, but yeah, so I found Collection 1, which has, uh, I think, Operation C, Pro Protector, of course. Um, Operation yeah. C and... Uh, are these expensive to get, like, if you were to get them on eBay or something? Some of them are. But what, How many are there? Uh, I think the fourth, the fourth one is pretty expensive. But one, two, and three aren't too bad. However, I, I do think I got like a really good deal. Cause so I got I, I got that for twenty euros, and Chun found the uh, the Taito um, uh, Super Super Nintendo uh, Super Famicom rather uh, Flintstones game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, that's pretty expensive too, isn't it? Now? it, it somewhat, like he, it was, it was just marked for twenty euros. Huh. And uh, yeah, we we looked up the prices of those after, and we're like, wow, we got a really good deal there. Uh, yeah. On, on both my Konami game and his Flintstones game, and we we played all the way. So uh, we we played all the way Is through it co -op? the co-op. Does they have co-op? Yeah. So it's it's. Dude, look, can I just say really quick? Like. I... <laughs> I actually watched the Flintstones this morning. I was just I just put it on because the kids were like at their grandparents and yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had that night out. Dude, had, had, when was the last time you watched the Flintstones? Like probably when I was a teenager. Okay, well, the, I I love the fact, and I never noticed this, is that it has a laugh track. Yeah, I mean it's it's a cartoon. I sitcom. love that it has a laugh track. It's a cartoon sitcom. Yeah, yeah, but I mean I just like love the idea that it has a laugh track. I feel like we could. I kind of want to have a laugh track on this live stream somehow. <laughs> Where you can have like every time anybody stops talking for a minute or like it reaches like certain pitches, you know, that that sounds like a good plug-in that someone should make is like a, the auto laugh track. I mean, I feel like the laugh like the laugh track, we just put it start putting them in our videos too. <laughs> it's, it's just like super 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 subtle but uh yeah um, all right uh, <laughs> the, but anyway, the we, yeah we played through the the whole Flintstones game and it's 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 got really interesting ideas I think um it like I mean it, you know it didn't you know it's, it's certainly not perfect but I, I really like the idea behind it because like like, if you ever see a game has co-op and it ends up just being, like, take turns co-op, it's like, oh, that's lame, right? Yeah. Um, But what it what the Flintstones uh, Super Famicom game does 
is it's it's a board game. Like the world map is is kind of a, a kind of a light board game, but you know the their action stages. And even if you're even if you're playing one player, like you you take turns as both um, Fred and Barney, uh, so that you can. Uh, oh, I bet that opens up the way of the one up. I. Uh, you play as both Fred and Barney so that uh, uh, that you can like corner this guy on the map that you need to like compete against to get the item to move on to the next world. Mm-hmm. Oh, that didn't open that. Oh, well. Uh, so anyway, like we, we just thought that was a really cool idea that like actually made the taking turns multiplayer thing like kind of cool. Yeah. Actually, the the asterisk. Shadow right? Mask, I might have to have to hit you up for some of those. I might I might have some in my like some of the libraries that I have, but I, I never really looked for them specifically. Just like laugh, some very subtle like laughs. Make the oh, super there's the one up. Laugh. <laughs> I just I think that would be very funny. I, I appreciated the fact that that there's a laugh track in a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> but that's cool. Yeah, I mean I think that I, I played that on the Everdrive one time and thought like, oh, it's, it's... even got like hanging. You can like hang from well, the edge. No, and... the actually the, so the other Taito games have hanging. Uh, the NES and... Okay. The NES and Genesis game, Taito games have hanging. We, we did load up on the EverDrive the... Um, the uh, the Ocean game developed uh, based on the movie. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Easy to forget that movie, even. I know, I like I, I've never seen it, but like I, I've never seen it either. And the, the cast is pretty good. Well, I mean, John Goodman is good for Fred, but like Rick Moranis as Barney is really weird. I think. I don't know. I, I love Rick it, Moranis, I but work. I feel like that's weird casting. I, but I think it's. I remember seeing a, a trailer for that. Uh, before Jurassic Park. Oh yeah. Like on on the opening weekend of Jurassic Park, and it's saying like coming out next summer. Oh, I'm like really? It's coming out like a year from now. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I mean John John <laughs> Goodman is Fred is definitely. I think that's good casting for sure. Mm hmm. But I don't know. Rick, something about Rick Moranis is really weird to me. I like. Like I, I don't I, I I like something about Rick Moranis without glasses is yeah is cursed as they say yeah you know so Why speaking of him, like, kind of, like tangentially uh, I think it's like I, we were talking about this last week that I think it's so crazy like that Ghostbusters movie is coming out like in two weeks oh yeah <laughs> and I, I was joking last week that you know. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire comes out on the 22nd and then the following weekend Godzilla and King Kong the new empire comes out the oh. next week <laughs> you know it's really funny though so I was reading a, a a a news story about this movie theater that is being reopened uh is like close to where I grew up as uh, being reopened by um you know, like some people, like they bought it, and it's like it's opening with the, with the uh, with the premiere of of Ghostbusters Frozen Over. Frozen Over. <laughs> I don't know why that that struck me as so funny. Like, you know, oh, that's it shows you what they think of it at that point, right? Oh, this stuff is <laughs> so stale. It's frozen over. <laughs> that's the idea. Wow. <laughs> But the, but there's two big Empire movie coming coming out in in a row. 
It's just very funny. But some of the things I've seen are talking about it, saying that it's it's essentially like the real Ghostbusters in a movie. The real Ghostbusters, the movie, like the sh like the cartoon. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Where he has like the apparently the villain is very inspired by something you would have seen in like like the uh, the real Ghostbusters, which is is a good idea. You know, that's like really where they should be going with it, anyways. I mean, it's but been it so long like since they... I've seen an episode of the show. Like, I, like that that was that was a big thing for me when I was like, you know, you know, like five, six years old. But I, I've not, I've never re revisited it. I've always been afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was like my first like action figure obsession. It was Ghost Oh, Christmas. okay. But it, it just seems weird that that movie is even coming out so soon. Like, why is it releasing in March, for one? Yeah, that is... But I feel like they, they started filming it really, really late. And I don't even understand how they made it, like, that quickly. I feel I feel like they filmed it in, like, November or something like that. Really? Yeah. And they couldn't do it because of this they couldn't do certain aspects because of the strike i think well, hopefully it turned out good in spite of that hopefully it did i mean it's got everybody in it it seems like the the original cast have like way bigger roles in this one too yeah, well, i'm definitely interested um did you did you see that new Ninja Turtles movie? I haven't. It's it's on the on the Voodoo. You should check it out. You know, a coworker said to me recently. He said, "Oh, did you see anything from that new Ninja Turtles game that's coming out?" And I was like, "Oh, isn't that the one that's like based on like the 2000s era cartoons?" And uh, it's like it's it came out in arcades like a long time ago. He's like, "No, there's one that looks like the new movie." And he like linked me to it, and it looks really, really cool. Yeah, it Is looks like, like it's done in that same animation as, as the 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 most recent movie. Who's making it? I don't know. Is it like uh, is it like a three D brawler or like a two D thing? What is it? I mean, I I've just seen screenshots. I've never I haven't seen it in action. To be fair. Because he linked it to me, and it was... It's like mutant. It's kind of... Is it Mutants Unleashed? Oh, oh, here. Let, let me look at some videos here. No, it's just screenshots. Oh, okay, I have to... I, okay, I cannot destroy that. All right. All right. Is there like nothing of it? Like, like, see, this doesn't this doesn't give me much much faith. And I like do a search for it, and there's all these YouTube videos saying TMNT Mutants Unleashed game update breakdown and pre-order options, and it's just somebody talking like over. The screenshots, like the f five screenshots, the same five screenshots. Uh, no nothing in motion. Nothing in motion. That is that is indeed worrying. Oh, oh. Oh, is this a trailer? No, this is Wrath of the Mutants. Is the uh, the one? It's like a it's like an arcade game. It looks like a four player arcade game, which looks pretty cool. But it's based on the like the 2000s era. Really? That, that's that's, an, that's it, it came out in arcades like a long time ago. It's interesting for like uh, you know to to revisit that era as a nostalgic thing. I mean, obviously, it would be for 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 some people. I mean, I I I remember like that came out my first semester in uh, in college 
and I was all like, yeah, I'm going to like get into Saturday morning cartoons again. But, uh, my will to wake up early definitely waned. Yeah. That, that was, that was when the, uh, that was when the, the Kirby cartoon, Kirby right back at you. Talking about, talking about that Kirby? Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> talking about that Kirby. Like, Co Co I'm yeah, you know what I'm talking Kirby. about. Like that's what what what, what uh, DDD sounds like, right? Not not exactly. But, but in in the intro, some, he's like, something like that. That that, that Kirby. <laughs> but I'm look like everything I'm looking up of Mutant Mayhem. Like it looks great in these five screenshots. But there's nothing of it in action. Like pre-order, like they were getting getting people to pre-order it based on. That is worrying. Yeah. Yeah, the gamer says. I remember when films had loads of hype in the '80s, and and the public drip drip fed very little info, but anticipation was so high. Going to the cinemas is a real buzz. Yeah, I mean, remember when you would go to see a movie and you would see a trailer for a sequel to a movie that you really liked and you had no idea it was even ma being made. Yeah. And it just like, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is actually coming out. Like this is being made. Is, is this the last boss right here? I don't know if it's going to be the last for him. I don't know if I'll be that lucky. <laughs> This feels really easy. I mean, this this is. I mean, I died on it. I shouldn't have, but it is pretty. Easy. All the bosses are uh, are not that difficult what's, in this. What's going on here? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, why, why, why is the oh the pattern the pattern's becoming kind of random now? That's weird. This is the last boss. Is is, is there another form? Yeah. Oh no! I I think that I I didn't see Dune Dune two. Uh, uh, I mean, Top Gun was really good. Top Gun Maverick was really really good. Um, I'm just saying when you would not know that sequels were being made. Well, I mean, to be honest, I I I I remember uh, I I when I when I learned about the new Ghost, but oh. Uh, when I learned about the new Ghostbusters movie, the first I I heard of it was like it was shot in such and such month, and I'm like, what? I didn't even know this was coming. Yeah. Yeah. That was stupid. Okay, I I need to I need to be serious here, because I I I've got under nine lives now. <laughs> like it, his his uh his pattern. Uh, varies up after 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 a moment. You gotta be patient. I mean, she's one. Yeah, I mean, it's easy up to a point, but then it, either I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's if it was coincidence that his pattern started becoming random, or if it was it was just bad luck, or if that's just what he does after a certain number of hits. Mm. See, the, the thing's not on. See? Okay, okay. I think I know. I think I. I think I see what I gotta do when he does that. Oh, you, you gotta jump at him and then go back. And then go back yeah. really quickly. Yeah. I mean, you can bounce, you bounce off them, essentially. Oh, that was, whew, that was bad timing, but it was all right. Yeah, I mean, I just find that it, even with, with game releases, you know, like, like everything we've talked about with Final Fantasy, not seeing anything about it, essentially. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I had seen very, very, very little. 
and I think I didn't. I don't even think I. I watched. Oh, I, I gotta watched stay there and not go back immediately. Ugh. <laughs> Zane's dad says uh, Robotnik looks like such a wanker here. Just <laughs> <laughs> <was> wanker. <laughs> um. <laughs> I hope for the 22nd this month. What, what comes out on the 22nd this month? I have no idea. I mean... Oh, is, it, is, that, only... is that Peach Showtime, maybe? Oh, yeah. I, I want to I, I, I play that, but I... I know, no, I I know less about about that either. than uh, the Fall Fantasy... I knew about Fall Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Uh, Peach Rise of the Ronin and okay, Dragon's Dogma I think I just two. gotta wait for it to go all the way back. And then... Okay. Okay. Alright, let's... Um, Peach is the only one that like I have any interest in, but I won't get that day one either. I don't... I'll tell you, I, I am starting to feel like I have no idea how long Final Fantasy is going to take me. Oh, I... I feel as though I'm, I'm moving through it, but I'm like 46 hours deep. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I didn't even, I didn't even know. How long? 33. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all since Wednesday. Jeez. I mean, I've been playing a lot. And, like, I just, you know, I fit the time in, you know, when I, like, in the morning uh, before I get into stuff or, uh, like, in the evenings and stuff. But it's... Yeah, I mean... I, I have no idea how long it's it's going to be. Uh, it just I I don't know where it even goes up to. Well, I mean the 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 PS5 dashboard like kind kind of hints at it. Oh really? Yeah, it it like when you uh yeah it, it'll tell you what your story percentage is, but I mean I don't know. Oh yeah yeah like, yeah. So mine is like, like the open like world the chapters, like if it gives them more weight or what, you know? Yeah. <laughs> dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Ah! The the it starts off so easy, but then it I mean it's it it's, just just it's not hard, but but like it's it's nerve wracking when you have to like do the more precise timing later in the fight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, I, I, I am curious because I, I feel as though the last one took me the less time than I already have, have passed now. So, I don't know. Uh... I'll be interested to see where it where it ends. I mean, at this rate, you're gonna pass me and finish it like well before me. Dang it! I knew that was a bad jump. I knew that was a bad jump. Man, I'm getting nervous here. <laughs> yeah, you like it. Uh, I am not watching Shogun, but I've heard it's very, very good. I never saw, like, the original. I may have seen parts of it. Did they, they didn't drop the whole thing at once, did they? You know it looks good. You watch that. Uh, you have you seen that trailer for the Fallout series? No. Nope. On Amazon, looks pretty good. And that's some coming as someone who's like not played any of the games. It like the series looks pretty good.
I've, I've never played Fallout, no. Oh. Uh. Okay. 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 I mean, I have Fallout. I I have Fallout Three and <laughs> New Vegas. <laughs> What? It was just funny. Oh, he just like, like jumps out of the. He just like street. jumped out of the warp, like right on top of him. I got you. Whew, I was nervous I'd have to do more. I mean, yeah, obviously there's chaos emeralds, but I don't, I don't care. I've never gotten the all the chaos emeralds in any Sonic game. Oh, 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 the Chaos Emeralds? The, the Chaos Emeralds, yeah. That that interests the, the me. Like, getting all the Chaos em Emeralds in any game, like, just so disinterests me. Hmm. Well, Shogun being weekly is certainly more uh, of interest to me. Yeah, I heard that, like, the new season of of Halo is pretty good. I mean, is it? Did it cover like the Fall of Reach and stuff now, or are they like into the uh, the first game now, or does it seem like they're just reinterpreting it in a different way? Let's see. Uh... See some Koshiros in here? Yeah, there's a yeah. Yano Koshiro. Oh, cool. So is it like if if Covenant is tearing up Reach now, is it a is there like any is they have like any of the characters from the game like the other Spartans? What is it like the that the team of four? I can't remember what they're Rearrange called. Rearrange and original music. Yuzo Koshiro. Sasquatch in time says Sonic doing some raunchy stand up. <laughs> yeah. Sonic's <laughs> Sonic, Sonic, telling some dick and fart jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he would. He would. Yeah. been drawn to the master system sonic so I, i'm glad to have finally had it like mm -hmm. like it kind of it at first it kind of makes you think that it's trying to just kind of be like a lesser version of the genesis game like in the first world right. but then like after that like the levels are very different from any other sonic game and they're 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 more i think a measured more like traditional platformer pace uh, the kind of just vibes with me better than just the the super high speed of the Genesis games. So yeah, well, I feel like the first one feels like it has more platforming. You're right. Just... It does. It does. It, and which is why and that's what I, I like I, about it too. That's why it's also my favorite. Yeah, but like I can totally understand like people who have just played Sonic two and three like a million times. Like yeah. just the like you just know from from muscle memory. You're way through the levels and it just feels so satisfying. I can totally get that. But, you know, to us, you know, schlubs that have never, you know, beaten it more than a couple of times, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a little more frustrating to play those. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it's just burn into your brain like the, you know, Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 are for me, like, I, I, I imagine that the enjoyment I get from just like, just, rushing through a DKC level is, is similar to what Sonic aficionados get out of, uh, you know, the, the, like Sonic two and three. Um, a lot of people talking about, uh, 
Kira Toriyama in the in the chat. Like, yeah, oh. I could not believe it. Yeah. Like, so was was he sick for a I while? I don't think so. I think it was a very. Su- I I was under the imp- like. It's actually kind of rare that they actually say like right what yeah, they yeah. died of. That was but- the same thing with like uh with. Reiko Kodama when she died they didn't really say anything yeah I, I think especially in, in Japan and it, also in Japan it's very normal I think like it's not even announced until like days or even a week after it mm. happened which I think was the case here I, so, I think it was some, so he had a, some sort he had of brain a, hemorrhaging I think yeah was, oh so it was blood clot so it was like a um, like what is it called I mean you know, like a yeah. yeah, I think yeah. My 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 assumption with that kind of thing is it's like you would not he would not have known that he he had anything. It just it just happened. Yeah, it just happened. Yeah, that's, that's really 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 unfortunate. Like, it's like it's it's crazy to me that I mean you know and I know like uh, Koichi Sh- Shugiyama is not exactly you know. Uh, you know, he certainly got his, his controversies surrounding him. Um, mm-hmm. and you know, his, his musical talent, I think it certainly waned, uh, you know, but it's, it's crazy to think that like, since the last main dragon quest game, like Yuji Hori is like the only remaining of like the core mm-hmm. creative trio. That's like, since yeah. the first game, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, like, really sad to me to think, like, you know, we know that Dragon Quest Twelve is coming. We've known it's coming for years. But just, like, to think that, like, man, we're going to, like, see, like, posthumous Akira Toriyama work in Twelve is just, like, really sad to think about. Yeah. Like, I never would have, I never would have thought. I mean... But but that would be the case. He draw going into everything. Quest Doesn't 12, he just you know? like do the character designs and like a lot of people like do like the bigger things like in his style? I don't. I don't know. I think he basically does all the character designs. Although I could see I, like you know th- there used to just be like a handful of like Dragon Quest NPCs that you'd see again and again, like the guy dressed in green and the guy with the goatee. You know, mm-hmm. but more recent games, like they seem to be made more of like pieces of like Akira yeah. Toriyama style eyes and Akira Toriyama style mouths and Akira Toriyama style hair and face shapes. Right, so I right. imagine that like there's like a almost a me style Dragon Quest maker in their development tools, guys, because that's like how um, that's how like uh, Breath of the Wild and tears of the kingdom. Like the NPCs are like an advanced form of the me program. Yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if like the run of the mill NPCs and maybe some other minor, minor characters are just kind of made that way. But like, uh, I I'm sure, you know, he would have designed most of the major, like new stuff for dragon quest 12, by this point so yeah it's, it's, just, it's really crazy to think, to think about. about so he was 68 right yeah i mean it's just very it's, young especially for japan right but i mean just hearing that kind of stuff it makes you realize the age people were like when you know like uh like how old was he when he made like did chrono trigger you know yeah. like it just it makes you know, like certainly a lot younger than I am now. <laughs> well, man, you, know you, I mean? you, you get dark on recent streams. <laughs> but I mean, it's just like, I, I don't know. Like sometimes I think about that a lot. Like, you know, it makes my own mortality. You know, I maybe I just think about my own mortality a lot more than than I used to. Sure. Obviously, like as sure, I'm sure, sure. You know, I mean, like, you know, it's... yeah, like now I'm. That's firmly like like middle aged now, right? Is is forties like like mid forties like this? I'm I'm firmly like in the middle aged era of my life now, and it's just I don't know. It just makes me think like yeah, you know, when you know like these people, a lot of people were making stuff. So he was like yeah, much younger than like almost ten years younger than than I am. 
when he was working on Chrono Trigger. It's just, yeah, it's just, you, I just, I, I don't know. I just think about it a, a lot. Like I, I find myself thinking about it a lot more because, you know, like the, all these people, they always seem like so much older. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. And then, it, like, it but like weird. so much older, but, it, but also like ageless. Yes. Yes. So I don't know. It's just, it's easy to be like, wow, it's, you know, like that's not I, I that see, much older than me, really. <laughs> I see Rokan Kitten saying, pretty sure he does the main characters and other characters of similar importance in DQ11, but everything else are other artists who can copy his style. Like, but I've also assumed he like makes, he does like new, new monster designs. Like, you know, obviously he's designed new, mo uh, you know, new, there have been new monsters in Dragon Quest each entry, but then, you know, probably most monsters are returning monsters, but there's usually like a few new ones in each game. I assumed he designed the new monsters in each game, but I don't know if they were just in his style. I mean, yeah, certainly, I mean that's, that's... I, cer certainly I would say the art style of dragon quest is more consistent than say Pokemon, you know, when it was originally, um, what is Su Sugimori? Is that Sugimori? The original Pokemon artist? Like, like, you know, the first two generations were, I believe, all him, and they all have, like, a consistent look to them. And then, mm -hmm. starring Gen 3, like, different artists uh, started coming in, uh, in addition right. to, to him. Well, especially and, because that's, like, takes a ton of creativity to come up with all that well, stuff. Sure, that's but, why, why Capcom started just, like, having people create all their, having contests to create, like, all the Mega Man. Masters. Yeah, but uh, but but I, I what I'm saying is like the the inconsistency in Pokemon design, I think is very obvious. Whereas I think Dragon Quest is just super consistent through its whole history, you know. Yeah, even if there perhaps are other artists that maybe uh, assist. Um, yeah. Oh, but yeah, that I don't is... Know, I mean, it's, the sad fact is, you know, like all these people that were like ageless, I mean, they are going to... It's going to start... The, the, the next, things like, that like, we, like, the things like, that we like, like 20, like 10 to 20 years, like a lot of these people are going to, they are going going to die. Yeah. That made it like, in like amazing impacts on all of our lives. Yeah. Not just in games, but like in like plenty of other things. Like we're gonna start, you know, like losing like actors and stuff. That is just, yeah. I don't well, know. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I think of it like, like it's just it's so, it's just such a weird thing to me to think of. Like, you know, I think back to when um, my first dog died. You know, she was the, you know, uh, she was a Sheltie, just like Sandy, and. Uh, you know, my, my aunt and uncle had a Sheltie too. And that was when I fell in love with Shelties and their Sheltie lived to be, I think 17 years old. She was so old. Um, and she died in 2005 and you know, I, well, my, my Sheltie, my first dog also died in 2005, but she was 12 and you know, it's just, it's just, it was, I just remember thinking like, I never would have dreamed that, you know, thinking about that gap in age between those two dogs. Right. Mm -hmm. like, I just never would have dreamed that we'd lose both in the same year. Right. And like, I, I kind of feel the same thing with like, uh, Sugiyama and, um, uh, bleh, uh, Toriyama brain fart on his name for a minute like like Sugiyama was always old like old 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 from the beginning right but mm -hmm. but to think that you would that between numbered dragon quests like you'd lose both of them with with their huge difference in age like that yeah to think that that it, it's a similar it's just the the 
it, it just reminded me of that thing with the dogs, like back in the day. Like I never would have thought you'd lose two of such such different age in the same year. And then, you know, yeah. I wouldn't have thought you'd lose two of such different age in the middle between two dragon quests. It's just, it's really yeah. shocking and sad. And, you know, like with a change of direction that they seem to be maybe taking, you know, like that 11 is like the end of the tradition. I mean, it's, I, I'm, I, I'll believe it's actually, yeah, all right. Yeah, tangibly yeah. different when I see it. They're like, oh, it's Dragon Quest for adults. It's still going to look like a Takira Toriyama character. You're still going to see goofy, happy slimes in it. it I don't think it's really going to be that different. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know. Now, there was $2 from Joshua Helmke saying, dying is a part of the human condition in a way. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Can't, and it's just, can't deny you know, it. It's just that people who people who made things that we love are getting that age now. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just I don't know. It's it's an easy like way to spiral. Like thinking about it. Cuz I mean it happened to any of us. But Anybody. anyway, I beat Sonic on Master System tonight, and I feel good about that. <laughs> um, but that I think that'll do it. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Um, see you on Tuesday on the uh, on the Twitch stream for some more Yakuza. Yeah, and uh, you've been pretty consistent on that, I think, huh? Yeah, well, they're like the Friday before last, uh, I didn't because um, uh, I didn't play because my son was homesick from school. But that's it. I've been pretty consistent. I was thinking about maybe moving it to Thursday because, you know, uh, it just maybe it would work better. But we'll see. Oh, well, we'll see. Real, what real quick for you, sign off. There was a no notification that Sasquatch and Time has been a member for five months. Thank you. Saying thank you for the time shared on these Sunday streams. Question, any favorite non-games for any system? I find the Core DS10 synthesizer was neat. Oh, I love Mario Paint on Super Nintendo. I love Mario Paint. Um, that's probably what comes to mind first. I, I liked the Game Boy Camera back in the day, too. Yeah, but I I I put a lot I like the of the SNES in... cleaning kit. <laughs> I put a lot of time into Mario Paint back in the day, um, and uh, I mean I I don't know if Super Game Boy counts. I love I freaking love Super Game Boy. I mean it's kind of a game. It is. Yeah. It's hardware, but there's also a ROM in there that's you know the Super Game Boy ROM that is not a game. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know. Never got um, to experience the Dream Dreamcast web browser. Yeah, I did. I I used that the day it came out, and that was basically it. You know what um, I did uh, when um, oh I you know uh, my my green age I played I played a lot. My computer uh, totally died. Uh, you know, at some point, you know, probably I don't know. 2007 2008 um and you want to know how i i ordered my parts from newegg to build to do a new computer build because i didn't have the a computer DS browser home. huh with a ds browser with the with the wii browser oh i literally bought parts for a new computer on newegg through the wii you just you got to see if that micro center is open by you now i bet it's open now Let's let's find out. Let's find out live on chat. Charlotte Micro Center. Grand opening early twenty twenty four. Um let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. 
not seeing any clear uh, clear indication. <laughs> it just says soon. Soon. When will then be now? Opening by early 2024. Well, we're... We're running a risk of uh, losing that window. Micro Center in Charlotte, North Carolina has a five-star rating, though. Perfect five-star, 5.0 rating uh, <laughs> for something that's presumably not even open. Oh, oh, on Google, it says opens May. I don't I don't know how Google has these, oh, these okay. deets. Just like on its Man, listing Man, on Man, Google, it just says opens May. I don't, I don't know if this is actually verifiable, but I would relish visiting it, even though I have built my computer and don't necessarily. I mean, there's other cool stuff there. So yeah, this is cool to look. Yeah, I look forward to that being here. Yeah, it's it's awesome. All Although right. I'm, but anyway, I'm gonna get in Mac Studio. I think I'm I'm I'm. It's time as goes on. I'm like I'm becoming more and more uh, convinced that's what you want. Convinced that that's like what I want to do. Anyways, right. uh, thanks everybody who donated, and I hope everyone has a great week. Good night. Good night.